Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and they're about to release another Super Mario Brothers movie. Wahoo! And we decided, probably like a lot of people on YouTube, so this video is <laughs> going to have a lot of competition, to revisit the, the 90s Super Mario Brothers movie today on Talking About Tapes. Ha ha! Talking about tapes. Hello, official Joey C. Tony from Hack the Movies. How the heck are you today? I'm I'm doing great, official Joey C. And hello, Jessica. Hello, Tony from Hack the Movies. Who yes. I haven't seen in a while. Former editor Jessica. That's me. I, I really love going back to editing all these goddamn episodes every <laughs> week. It feels great. Just brings a smile to my face. I'm like, oh, I should probably go like, oh no, I gotta edit my episode. Yeah. So now you can't say like, hey Jessica, add this, you know? Because now it's like, yeah. hey, Tony, add this. Yeah, yeah Joey, it's been a real problem. Because <laughs> now I have to remind myself to do things. Yeah. But I forget uh, to say them out loud in the video, so I never <laughs> remind myself. You better say them out loud now. Yeah. I will. It might be helpful. I do miss editing this show. Uh, well, if you ever want to edit it for free, you know. Uh, Exposure. I, I, I need money. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. I need money. Jessica, think of all the exposure you can get. Oh I'm getting Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> Literally. It's this is so bad. It's great exposure. <laughs> Come on. Dude. I will say I do get great exposure being on this on the show. Yeah, but, but I need money. But what if to, you edited it? I need for money. Free. I need to eat, Tony. <laughs> He offered you How, food. How often delicious. do you need to eat? I mean, come on. They say you could go a week without eating. <laughs> I don't think that's correct. I don't think that's I know correct. I can't go a week anyway, without eating. I'm 5'10". Anyway. I'm still growing in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, a movie everyone hated and now everyone pretends is the greatest movie of all time. Who? A lot of people, and they always say, oh, the only thing bad about it is that it's called Super Mario Brothers. It would be pretty good if it wasn't. But then it's also I, like... That's wild. That's but then there's people who like this weird reimagining uh, in a Blade Runner universe and telling its own lore and only using the Mario stuff as references and whatnot. Some people like that. This movie has a big fan base. They make fan-made comics and stuff that continue the story and everything. That's surprising to hear. If you're a fan of this yes. movie, seek help. <laughs> I can't disagree with that. I've... Okay. So, I already know the answer to this. Uh, Jess, when did you see this movie? Like, two days ago, and I got a headache from it. <laughs> it was... I reacted to it, which will hopefully come out around the same time this comes out. I make no promises, <laughs> but... I, yeah. <laughs> the whole time I was just saying, yeah, Mario. <sighs> huh. That sigh. And, so, then, and then my head started hurting and I almost, threw up. I didn't so, almost throw up. That was a joke. So you'll, you'll edit your Super Mario Brothers uh, video, but not mine. Okay. Anyway, uh, Joey C. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, I don't have to be here. <laughs> <laughs> when did you first see the Super Mario Brothers movie? Well, fun fact, this is the first time I've ever seen this movie. And the only reason I watched it, I was saving it. I was really <laughs> saving it for something good. And then you told me that we were doing this and I'm like, now's the time, baby. So yeah, the first time I watched it was two days ago. I, wow. That shocks me because you yeah. watch Double Dragon, dude. I because I, I, I love forget, Double go Dragon. Go back and watch our Double Dragon episode. But I, I edited remember that being one. like, <laughs> yeah. I remember being like, and you're probably real nostalgic to edit it. I got like yeah, four uh, episodes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> I remember. I think I just saw it on Tubi. Like, hey, you want to do Double Dragon? And just by coincidence, you're like, it's my favorite, dude. Movie. Yeah, it's, you you said you want to do Double Dragon. So I was I, like, I love this I movie. I thought you would have had to have seen this. You know what? I'm kind of shocked that I waited 27 years to watch. Have you seen the Street Fighter movie? Yes, I've seen have that. You one. Seen Mortal Kombat? Yeah, of course I've seen that. Okay, one. I thought you were gonna be like, no, nah, I'm waiting on Mortal. Did you see the no. new Mortal Kombat? I have not. I'm saving you that one for a special day. You, you no, know, don't. I, my dad and I had a great time with that. It was bad, but we had a great time. I with mean, that. any given week, it's the second or first most watched video on my site. Other than that, the movie's really bad. Don't watch it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I remember this movie. I was very young. This is 1993, so I'm like three-ish. So you're, you're, you're like three. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> yes. Because uh, 1993 is like when Jurassic Park came out, and I remember yeah. seeing Jurassic Park in the theater. It was Two a big weeks year. later, yeah. I mean, Jurassic Park, 
Carnosaur, Super Mario Brothers. It was the year of the dinosaur. Everyone, you know, everyone, you're not wrong. Everyone was opening the door and getting on the floor, and they were all walking well, the dinosaur does. in 1993. Literally, the first shot of this movie is like, hey, yo, remember the dinosaurs? Yes. So, and another thing, I was really, really young. The first game I remember playing is Super Mario Brothers. Okay, yep. Because we had a Nintendo. Now, I had my Mario Brothers 3. I did... And I'm saying Mario for you assholes, but I usually say Mario. Which is wrong. No, all the Italians I know from Italy say Mario. Well, I'm Irish, so I say Mario. I can't. You I don't have got, a horse yeah. in this race. <laughs> no, but the I horse might be Tony. in the bed in The Godfather, but I'm bad. I don't know. So you say Mario. Yeah, I say Mario. Now yeah. fuck it, it's Mario. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now fuck dude. all of you. We're I, saying Mario. Dude, I swear to God, I was in the mirror last night going, Mario, Mario. No, I we're taking- I had to rehearse it. <laughs> no. It's so bad. No. I was like, if I slip up once, I'm going to read 100 Marianne. comments about it. I'm not having these non- non-Italian people tell me how to say Dude, this name, okay? You. Then why'd you I'm have saying. me on? <laughs> to edit. <laughs> <laughs> that was your plan all along. <laughs> you, you rehearsed that bit so much. I thought you'd be you'd miss it so much and you'd be like, Tony, I'll edit for free. <laughs> see, see, I do miss it. I was, I was hoping to say, I'll, I'll, you can edit for money and I'll be like, okay. What? I was like, <laughs> Jessica, I don't have enough money. Patreon.com slash hack the movies. Anyway, do we it, actually do it shot for me. A, we yeah. actually shot a bonus video <laughs> right before this episode for one of the worst films I've ever seen. I don't know how Attack I can get it Attack of the Killer Chickens? No. What you just said probably is better than Return. It's not, but I don't. Return of the Moonwalker. Is that what? the Michael Jackson movie? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Well, Patreon. Hardly. Patreon.com slash hack movie. See what we thought of Return of the Moonwalker. Isn't it like, doesn't it like a stop motion where he turns to a donkey? Don't worry about it. Listen. listen. I am worried about it. They made listen. a video game of it. We'll tell you later. <laughs> so I remember this movie. I'm sorry, in, uh, I have to get back into the zone of sorry, Mario. Sorry. <laughs> okay, yep, so I go. remember my mom yep. going to the video rental store. And I remember seeing this was like a new release at the time. Um, it might have been the same year. It, maybe it was a new release. Maybe it was a year later. It was either 93 or 94. I definitely saw it when it was like still kind of fresh. Uh, having no knowledge of it. I knew what Super Mario Brothers was, though. And I'm like, oh. And I think my mom picked it up because she knew I was playing the game. Mm. Uh, she's like, let's rent this movie. And then we put it on and I was like, okay, well, I like dinosaurs <laughs> and they're saying they're Mario and Luigi. And then I was really <laughs> confused. Like, like I was watching him like, okay, it, this set kind of looks like Tim Burton's Batman, which I was watching a lot at the time. So there were things in it that I technically should have liked, but going into it, knowing it was Super Mario Brothers as a kid, I was really confused until they get like their suits at the end. But even then, that wasn't like a thing. Uh, they weren't even overalls. Yeah. It's, and in the beginning, Mar like Mario's wearing. He's wearing green. I was going to say he's wearing green. I, I also said Ma Mario. My practice yeah, yeah, no, no, no. My practice works. No, no. Mario's wearing green. Right. Yeah. And Luigi's wearing red. I'm like, how does that make I sense? I said that in my reel. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, this is fucked up. Yeah, yeah. it's so stupid. I couldn't also, believe it. Also, Sean like Wazamo and yeah. Bob Hops. Hop, uh, listen, Hoppy. I know. <laughs> That's why I call him the view Bob Hoppy. John Leggy and Bob Hoppy. <laughs> John Leggy. Bob Hoppy. Anyway. Because <laughs> I can't say his last name. Uh, yeah, and I was very, very confused, but it's a movie I never forgot. I never forgot. And then in, I remember in high school, I revisited it because some hero put it all on YouTube for free. Oh, uh, yeah, it was yeah, on yeah. YouTube for a while. True, yeah. um, I say they're a villain. Yeah. Now, in for this, this review, I think, maybe when I, no, because when I edited the thing for rental reviews, that might have been a DVD rip. I think I've seen this for the first time in HD from mm. HollyHD.cc. Oh, yeah. <laughs> whatever website I torrented this from. Uh, even though I have the beautiful tape there from I Joe Lascola. Joe, Joe lent us that. Oh, that's beautiful Thanks, right Joe. there. You will be seeing the tape footage in this review as usual. I will also admit I, I torrented this, but I did not do it in HD. Whatever quality it was, it said 1080p and it was clearly not. Yeah, that wow. was. But I'm like, I'm like, you know me. what? Ours was a good copy. Yeah, it was pretty decent. Early. Yeah, it was as, cool. as I'm watching it, I'm going through it. I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to like see it clearly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're not missing much. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I noticed some more things this time around. But yeah, this again, it's got this big cult following now, and people are real nostalgic for this. And yeah, it's a really a cult. And I get it. Um, huh? <laughs> it's really a cult. That's because I know I. 
I know people, because video games, it, it hadn't been done yet in film. There was an anime, uh, Mario anime. Mario yep, anime. Yep, yep, thank you, thank These you. These colonizers making Dude, us yeah, say it wrong. Now it's confusing my own brain. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, which way do I say it? I gotta call my mom and ask they're, they're her. Making it, they're, they want us to be ashamed of our Italian tradition. Yeah, that's, that's just fucked up. Uh, and I, to that I say, mom, mommy. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, Potato. Yeah, so there wasn't like a rule book on how to make video game movies. They still haven't really figured it out. No. But yeah. it was such a new concept at the time where some people were like, okay, it didn't need to be like the game it just needed to be kind of like it or people people enjoy what they did with this you know who didn't enjoy this movie Me. everyone making it <laughs> yes and jeff everybody <laughs> everyone it. making it so that's funny because like usually in like like last action hero for instance mm. everybody making that thought it was going to be like the greatest like spoof movie of all time yeah and it came out it didn't bomb per se, but like it didn't perform well. Yeah. But like it's Definitely. funny, like projects, they always think like this is going to be great and it's bad. This movie, everybody knew it was going to be absolutely terrible mm. and it it got the, the reviews it deserved. Yeah. Which is funny because you don't see that often. I yeah. was told about John Leguizamo and Bob Hop. P. Bob Hoskins. Hoskins, Hoskins. yeah. What? I had yeah, to think Hopkins. about that too. I think it was Hopkins. <laughs> no, it's Hos Bob Hoskins. 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 Yes. Bob Hoppy. Um, they were on the set. They were sweating a lot. And I was told why, but I think oh, yeah. we'll probably get yes. into it. Yeah, yeah, sure. no, no, yeah, yeah. Um, Which made me laugh. The only one who really enjoyed it, I think, was John Leguizamo because that was a big movie for him. At well, the time. at the time, yeah, yeah, that was like one of his first major. I like, mean, I, he he knocked it out of the park as unnamed henchman in Die Hard too. Yeah. But this is really <laughs> well, that's my favorite role of his. Yeah, this is really really. He was in Violent Night. Own. I don't even remember who he is now. Unnamed henchman in Die yeah. Hard two. Classic. Yeah. When I when I watched when I watched the menu, he was like playing a washed up action hero, and he never once mentioned being in Die Hard too. Yeah, in Violent Night, he <laughs> was uh, stuffed up a chimney and exploded. That's right. Through oh, the chimney. Spoiler. Yeah. I mean, he didn't. That's a joke. Well, now you're a liar. I've always been a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, you know what? You're fire. Oh, fuck. I can't even fire you. Damn it. All right. Anyway. Um, yeah. So Bob Hoskins, uh, he hated it. He, it was his biggest regret. His worst movie. Um, yeah, you know, I think the funniest quote is Dennis Hopper said like he his son asked him like why he did it. And his son or he was like, because you need new shoes, son. And his son literally said to him, I don't need shoes that bad. <laughs> I remember apparently Hoskins signed on not knowing what it was. Oh, really? And then apparently his kid, he has a funny video interview where his kids told him and they showed him and he's looking at the cartoon on the screen jumping. And apparently he goes, he's like, that's me. I used to play King Lear. Or like I was in <laughs> King Lear. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, that's me. That's, I don't do any of that shit. Yeah, in this I was movie. just going to say that. Too. I will any say of it. it's funny because um, recently I talked about Text Chainsaw 2. And Dennis Hopper apparently thought that was his worst movie until this movie. <laughs> and me, I will say, did like, they get paid well? Did they get paid well? Oh, that's know. a good question. I didn't look that. But up. Look, look, I was like hoping they. Did I'm going to say like, oh, this God. though. In both those movies, he's given 110. percent I was just going to say that. Like, yeah, they might have hated themselves during the filming. You couldn't really tell that much on yeah. screen, like in their acting. Dennis Hopper looks like he's having a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, he's he putting, does. Yeah, he's putting in just as much. <laughs> He's Bum. putting in just as much effort as he did as Frank and Blue Velvet. Oh, that's that's a good yeah. point. That's See, the way he point. was in this movie, I'm like, oh, he must have had like a good time. I hope he did. And now I know that, I'm like, because look, I, that's why he was laughing because I was like, when he says a monkey, I'm like, <laughs> monkey. Yeah, monkey. Yeah, it's so goofy. <laughs> Bum. No, I just think he was like a weird dude. Um, takes a mud bath. But yeah, so, so this he is directed. A mud, like all the way to his neck. <laughs> yeah. So this is directed by uh, uh, something Morton and something Jenkel. Yeah, fuck it's uh, Annabelle Jenkel and Rocky Morton. Yes, fuck you both. And they were, huh? Uh, fuck you both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying this from Hack the Movies. I'm saying this from me. Okay. Uh, they directed a bunch of music videos. They yep. directed a movie called DOA. And then they directed like uh, Max Headroom stuff. Yes, they did. Yeah. Which I, I could see maybe at the time Max Headroom, like maybe these guys can do it. Yeah. Uh, one of the writers wrote the Bill and Ted movies and he went on to write a bunch of other movies like Charlie's Angels and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I didn't look up the other two. Uh, and the cinematographer who worked on this, um, who I believe is Dean Semler, uh, he did Beyond Thunderdome. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dances yep. with Wolves. Yep. And 
Last Action Hero. Classic. Circle back to that yeah. one. Which came out right around the same time as Super Mario Brothers. Yes. Um, Mario. That was a very busy year for him. That was. Uh, You're trying your best. I I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> so let's Mario. get into this film proper here. To trick the audience and get us excited for nothing, it starts with the Super Mario, Bro yeah! Mario Brothers theme. <laughs> I was I was like, oh, promise? Sing it. Um, and then we see Then we get a narration over a terrible pixelated cartoon of dinosaurs. Oh my god, so bad. Yes, and I know they wanted it to look like a video game like effect. It just looked like it was on like like it, like it was like Mario Paint, basically. <laughs> yeah. Like it was so bad. You know, when I think of Mario, I think of prehistoric times. Yeah, that's the thing. Wait a second, that's a good point. Yeah, wow. that's like, the thing. Okay, there are dinosaurs in Super Mario. Yeah, like and there Bowser. are characters who look not like really. No, no, wait, no. Bowser's a fucking turtle. B Bowser's, I felt, was more like a dragon, yeah, like a turtle like dragon. A dragon turtle. But not a dinosaur, because he has a shell. It's like but there's that. like Yoshi, there's that Triceratops, I oh, think. God, Yoshi. Mm. Yoshi's the only character in this movie that's actually yeah. closest we'll, to we'll, his we'll, character. We'll get to Yoshi. But yeah, this oh, movie went God, all in on the dinosaur thing. And again, they knew that there was going to be a dinosaur <laughs> craze, and there was in the 90s. Goodbye, dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> bye bye di I think that might be Dan. Is that Dan Casanova? I, I, that's what I thought. I, think I thought yeah. it was Bob. Hoskins. No, no, no. The guy narrating might have been Dan, Dan Casta, Casta, uh, Castanelli or whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. The guy who yeah. voices Homer says, I'm yeah, pretty it sure. Is. I, I, I'm almost 90% sure. I'm is, pretty yeah. sure that's him. Jessica, can you? No. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Me! Is this, Me! Is this hey, the, Tony, the entire I have your computer episode? right now. Look up if that was Dan Castanella, okay? A giant meteorite struck the earth. Goodbye, dinosaurs. Good job, you're learning. Wow, yeah, it was. All right. <laughs> Is this a bit the entire episode? I used to have an editor. Yeah. I'm, you can't blame me. <laughs> I blame a lot of people, Jessica, not you. <laughs> That's all that matters. Myself. <laughs> Myself. Johanna. <laughs> Joey C. Uh, let me tell you. Look, Double Dragons, it didn't do as well as uh, hey, the faculty. faculty the okay? faculty did pretty well. It really oh, fucked okay. me, Joey C. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So, yes, uh, that was Brooklyn. Apparently, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs hit Brooklyn. Sounds That's, right. That, no, it's not right. It, it hit the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> uh, we looked it up because I'm we like, did, I'm pretty yeah. sure it hit the Gulf of Mexico. We went through like a whole history lesson on where this yes. meteor Maybe there went. was a secret meteor that just was like, shh, don't tell anyone. I'm going <laughs> uh, but, but apparently the meteor caused two dimensions to merge. Is that what happened? Yes. So in Look, my our brain is trying to purge this movie. So in our dimension... The dinosaurs died and mammals took over. A monkey. And then in their dimension, <laughs> I guess mammals exist, but they didn't become the dominant species. Dinosaurs kept devolving into human looking people, although some of them also stayed dinosaurs. So some of them have tiny heads. Yes. We'll so get there's into two that. different dimensions. We're in the Earth dimension, and then there's the dino dimension. Yes. D Tony, I. This. This storyline really doesn't make a lot of sense. What does this have to do with uh, Mario Brothers? Um, d d d remember Yoshi was a dinosaur? Yeah. There you go. Oh, okay. it all makes sense now. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so, a woman played by Samantha Mathis. Yeah, that's supposed to be will... Peach. They don't say. Uh. But it's the same actress who plays her daughter later on. Uh, it is, yeah. She, she drops an egg off at a church, and inside the egg is a baby. And these nuns, they're probably like, Santa Maria, oh my God, right? One of them goes like. <laughs> no, you were like, the nuns were like, huh, kid in an egg. Dude, yeah, the, the nuns are just so normal. They're like, oh, it's a human being in an egg. No, 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 ma'am. There is an actual egg with a baby inside of it. Shouldn't you be concerned? Call the. Call a federal agent or something. It's a sign from yeah. Jesus. I am. I am Joey, just real quick. That's your personal. Category. I know, but I was just looking at that one because I like that one. I gotta switch it up. I can't that's look at this one. That was intense. I want to. I want to. Joey, I gotta edit this shit now. Okay, watch. I this, would want to do a close up. Mm. Do it to that one. Okay, watch this. I'll do it again. Okay. Don't cut that. 
What do you think? What do you What do you mean? You what? You got a You got an egg with a baby, and the nun is just looking at it, thinking, "Holy God, it's just a baby and an egg. Like it's a normal thing. Like you're going to a Walmart on a Tuesday. It's a baby and an egg, lady. What do you mean? Call a federal agent or somebody? Jesus Christ! Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. No, I'm sweating. Oh, camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, these. This is both your close ups. Yeah, but we All can right. switch. Okay. Wait, I'm not gonna look in your camera. That's what I'm saying. I I, you uh, know, I gotta keep really the diversity up. So Koopa. Uh, grabs the mom and presumably kills her. Uh, I, was, I did not know that was Koopa at first. I'm like, why is there an yeah, army? Yeah, because I guess this sewer? is before he oh, was. Oh, the, like, ar- the army suit really. Yeah, yeah I was just yeah. like, huh. And then is there a cave in here? Yeah, well, um, it well, that's it where like the meteor it, is. Well, it, it, it's like, it, she's like, oh my God. And it cuts to the nun going, dear God, and baby in an egg. Well, a she sign. like she like okay. knocks a foundation thing. Right, over. okay, okay, okay. Because yeah. they mentioned, they're like, yeah, we used to have this portal, but it's been closed for 20 years. So the, the mom is the one who buried the portal. I don't think so. Yeah. I Because. Well, she calls the cave in. Look, the cutting in this movie is so <laughs> bad. Mm, see, that's that's a good point. I don't know if that's the case because Koopa is in that little section that she collapses. Yeah. Like mm. she pushes over the, the, the beam or whatever and Koopa is standing behind it. Oh. Yeah, so I, I don't actually know. I'm quite right. confused so about that. So something happened that closed the portal for 20 years. Yeah. Um, something stupid. Oh, then I we, think I know. Then we meet... I think I know. We meet our main characters, the Mario Brothers, played by Mario. racists, <laughs> Bob Hoskins... I agree. ...and cultural appropriators... Bob Hoskins and uh, John Leguizamo. Who allegedly died in The Violent Night. Allegedly. I might be lying. <laughs> and and I know people people really love this movie. They lo- they always say Bob Hoskins was great in it. But I remember being as a kid being like, not my Mario. I went around the school and I said, not my Mario. No, but is it your Mario? <laughs> yeah, he's Mario. He's not <laughs> Mario. This guy's uh, not Italian. He's just Mario in this movie. And Bob Hoskins, people, I think the people who like him in this... Look, well, he does a really jo- good job. He looks really good. It's like, yeah, he's rehashing his performance yeah. from Roger Rabbit. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. exactly it. Yeah, that's that's what he's doing. Yep, looks only exactly the same. Only with a shittier script <laughs> and less to do. He's not, Mario is not the main character in this movie. Yeah, you had no. mentioned that, and no. I completely agree. He's much I was like, going to say, he's, he, I forget like most yeah. of the time that he's in this movie. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, much Mario. like the Tim Burton Batman, which I'm covering later this year. That's mostly like the Joker and Vicky Vale's movie, and Batman's just kind of around. He interacts once in a while. The the Mario Brothers movie, it's the Luigi and Princess Daisy movie. Yeah. God, that pisses me off. Yeah, and Mario's just kind of there. Just kind of there. Um, but so, yeah, so these uh pasta face assholes, <laughs> as I call them, uh they're they're getting a call uh that they need to by the way i love that his plungers are on the wall yeah Yeah, it's like um, like, are those awards don't like like dirty plungers plungers. i've got the biggest shit out of it god i wish they said that so they they get a job and they need to go there but luigi's more concerned about uh, alternate dimensions yes and these missing girls all over brooklyn where are all these girls going who cares just thrown into the script so yeah badly. So this is a little confusing. That's not They're, what's important. It's fucking Scapelli. Yeah, Scapelli. So so Luigi's doing his whole thing in the the van where he's like, I got a feeling that we got to go this way and this way. But when they get there, they're beaten by the Scapellis. But it's like, wait, how did the how did the Scapelli? Like, they you, called them, dude. Like they called the, the Mario, Mario brothers. brothers. Yeah, but did they call multiple people? I don't know. I Whoever don't, got there first. I don't trust Capella. Yeah, that's not how you. That's not how plumbers work. Yeah, it's so weird. Multiple plumbers. Yeah, he probably has secret agents being yeah. like, "Oh, we gotta oh find you want to know brothers. what they? He did the whole like turn right thing. Mm. So I wonder if that was like a mm. reason why they got there first. I actually don't know. This this movie really doesn't make a lot of sense. No, it doesn't. Yeah. But it's apparently Scapelli. They are plumbers, and they're part of a construction thing that has now been put on hold. And by the way, Mister Scapelli is like. A creep. He's a contractor and a uh, plumber or owns a plumbing business, but like he shows up to the dig site. So his operation's been shut down because they found dinosaur bones. Yeah. They yeah. keep saying bones, not fossils, which really bothered me. They found dinosaur bones. But he shows up and everyone's cheering for him. 
And I'm like, why does the crowd love Scapelli that much? He's a stupid man. That is that. See, that part of the story doesn't make a lot of sense to I, me. Is there it, something where, like, he was running for mayor or something? Well, he's just some mob boss who, like, just shows up and, like, threatens the, yeah. the girl, like, everybody on the on the dig site, like, yeah, to yeah, stop. Yeah, he's, he's like, there's a bunch of women that have been going missing. Like who's in charge? You don't want to be here? one of those women, do you? It's and I'm just like, Ew. yeah. Oh yeah, threatens her in like. I'm like, plain I'm like, it was him. Yeah, it was yeah, him. She, she's like, it wasn't I'm here. Him. I'm, I'm. We were court ordered to be here. We're allowed to dig for these. He's like, can you wrap it up, lady? I got to finish this project. Yeah, like, I what may are they or may not do? kidnap you. <laughs> so weird. Um, Which we find out he's not the one who kidnaps them, and I'm like, what was the fucking point of that? Mm-hmm. He's just a creepy guy. So I have it here. Uh, Samantha Mathis is insanely attractive. Yeah. Uh, but. I said, yeah. Oh, I thought you said, yeah. That's what I thought you said, like, too. Wow. I, I had to collect my thoughts here. <laughs> I mumbled. Oh God, I was really mean of you, Jet. I said, yeah. That girl was attractive. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, yeah. yeah. I should have enunciated. Enunciated. Yes, that's Like right. I, how I should enunciate for Bob Hoskins. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Hoskins. Uh, but she's playing Princess Daisy. I hate it. Which instead of Peach or Toadstool, as she was probably known at the time, what what game did Daisy originate in? Who cares? Not the first she's one. Not was, the, uh, she's not Peach. Was Super Mario World? Yeah, I think it was World. Yeah, I think it was World. Yeah. You know what? That's why I'm excited for this new Mario movie, because they actually have Peach. Yeah. If Daisy shows up, it's like, cool, but it's Peach. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's Daisy, but she's blonde. But yeah. Daisy has brunette hair. Yeah. <clears throat> it's very confusing. It is very, very confusing. confusing. Uh, we also are introduced to the Koopa Cousins. That's what yes. they're called? So Super I kept Koopa calling them the Koopa Twins. Oh, she probably didn't watch the post credit scene. There's a post credit scene? I wanted, scene. I just wanted to stop. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I just wanted to they stop. they try to kidnap Daisy, but they fail. So they've been the ones who have been kidnapping the women. But they're doing a bad job. Because I guess to dinosaur people, we all look alike. Because he goes, she's got two arms, two head, two, two arms, yeah, oh, two yeah. legs, and a head. <laughs> That's it's species. like It's like, yep. Nailed it. That's a guy's that name, uh, Rich, Richard Edson. Spike. Yeah. He's got a wild haircut. I mean, just yes. has like the, the back of his head shaved. Everybody in, I'm going to call it Koopa Land, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, has the weirdest haircuts. That's true. Yeah. Well, that is very Especially true. one character that I'm pissed it's off a, about. It's only weird to a dirty mammal who's visiting. But there, the rich culture of the dino people, it's totally normal. Rich culture. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fungus. <laughs> so, rich culture. So the other, so yeah, uh, who was the guy who played um, the one you just mentioned? Uh, Richard Richard Edson. Who? Spike. Who was in F Ferris, Ferris Bueller's, Bueller's Day, Day Off. Off. He's the one who takes the car for a yeah, joyride. Yeah, exactly. Oh. God, yep. Ferris Bueller's Day Off is awesome. Did that Dude, come out such after a good this? Movie. No, that was way before, before this. Yeah. That was before okay. this. Yeah, like 87 maybe. No wonder why he yeah. showed up yeah. in the post credit scene. Yeah, he that like, movie's- He was that, like, Ferris Bueller did it. We can do it too. <laughs> that movie's hilarious. Uh, Matthew Broderick's about to be in a new movie with Jennifer Lawrence, yep, which I looks really funny. Yep. And uh, oh, Matthew Broderick was also in Godzilla 98, which I have a shrine oh, for down yeah, here. Oh, yeah, that's right. And Patrick Titopoulos- who did the production design and created the look of Godzilla, and that worked on this movie yes, as did. a designer. Yes, he and did. And also, Matthew Broderick killed two people. I was yes, waiting he for did. you to mention that. <laughs> One fact. Speaking of because that. Because every time you bring him up, when I used to edit, long uh, You ago, have to mention it. You yeah. mention it. So, Which is very true. It's very true. Gianni Russo, the guy who plays Scapelli, yeah. fucking Scapelli. killed somebody in real life, too. In, on purpose? Like, in 88, 1988. <laughs> yeah, he was in a nightclub. And this guy attacked this woman in a nightclub, and he's a, a like a legal firearm carrier. He shot the guy in the head in the nightclub and got uh, like he, the charges got dropped because it was quote a justified homicide. So he's just a creepy guy in general. Well, yeah. the guy was attacking a woman. I mean, I wouldn't have shot in the head. Yeah, he yeah, shot in the head. Him in that, the that's head. what I mean. It's a little bit of a. But he also played Carlo in The Godfather. If you if you didn't know that, no, I yeah. didn't know that he did play to Carlo in the Godfather. the Godfather. Yes, yes. Um, I edited that one. Yeah, remember? Yeah, I no, I, I I remember. <laughs> Not for free. I remember when I used yeah. to get paid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I remember when I could do other things while someone was editing, and now I do other things that I edit all night. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Hey, it's the a fun show. The other Koopa cousin is Fisher Stevens. Yes. He was not satisfied pretending to be an Indian guy in short circuit. <laughs> That's right. I he forgot that was He is now pretending to be a dinosaur. Yeah. Is there any cultural... <laughs> <laughs> is there any culture he won't appropriate? 
God damn you, Fisher Stevens. <laughs> Fisher Is Steven. there any any cultural appropriation he won't culturally appropriate? That's what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> we got um, there. <laughs> Fisher Stevens was also, he's actually also a filmmaker. Did a pretty good movie oh, a few I didn't years know that. back yeah. with uh, Al Pacino and Christopher Walken. I forget the name of it. Mm. It was pretty good. Uh, he was also in The Burning. It's a Friday the 13th ripoff. He's really young in it. Wow. Jason Alexander's in that movie too. Um, Fisher Stevens dies. Jason Alexander survives that movie. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they fail to uh, grab her. Um, I love, there are some good comedic moments in this. They have some funny stuff. As weak and dumb as the movie is, I do like that Luigi's calling their aunt, their voicemail machine to see like who left voicemails. Yeah. And the one is just like, we got a huge plumb. Yeah, we, got- we got a huge <laughs> thing. Send all your plumbers. I have a big plumb over here. So get all your plumbers. Thanks. Get extra that scene is so weird because the way Mario fixes the, the engine, he just pours a, a bottle of water on the engine See, and fixes yeah. it. I thought he just put the bottle yeah, of that's water what he, Yeah, that's what he does. He just no, he literally pour puts it. He, it. Like, at first, he's just like, oh, right. Just places it like, in. That's, oh, and, like, and then it's empty later. I'm like, oh, I guess he dumped it out. Yeah, that's what I just assumed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought like, he just put it in and was like, no. I do well like that done. he's so broke that he walks out of the store. He's like, everyone's got tap water. <laughs> I probably would have watched a movie about Bob Hoskins That's being a so plumber true. in New York without yeah. all the dinosaurs. Just stuff. like a grumpy old plumber. That's so yeah. funny. And what does he say? It's like $3 for a bottle of water. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I'd kill for a $3 bottle of water, dude. <laughs> Daisy is all upset. She's trying to call the university. Um, I'm upset because they chose the name Daisy and not Peach. Yes. And Luigi is trying to like, that's probably why, because she has a love interest with Luigi. So, and like, because all the heroes you know, have Mario to... has two love interests, basically, in this movie. Ugh. That, that are true. Peach. Yeah, that is true. Well, Mario, he's a he's a sexual tyrannosaur. Yeah, he he's is. a dinosaur himself. He's a sexual <laughs> tyrannosaur <laughs> in this movie. Uh, but yeah, he's he's trying to ask her out, but he's like stuttering. And he's just like, hey, lady, why don't you go out with us tonight? We'll have a double date. Uh, and who is Mario's girlfriend? Daniela, I think. Uh, Not Paulina. Yeah, it's... um. Paul. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it's Daniela, right? Yeah, yeah. it's Daniela. I thought that was Peach because she was wearing pink, but she wasn't blonde. I was like, no. Mm. And uh, Ma- Mario, okay, he's a broke plumber. He's got a hot girlfriend, dude. Yeah, and, and they're eating at a nice I was restaurant. Just say, they're going to a nice ass restaurant. It's like, hey, Mario, dude. maybe ease up with Luigi. Stop, stop taking your girl around town. Yeah, bro. Like last time, stop I went on the Ritz <laughs> for your girl, and maybe we could pay rent. I would have took her to IHOP for seven ninety nine endless later pancakes. On movie, when they mention her, he's like Daniela. We had tickets to go see WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Yeah. <laughs> WrestleMania, even back then, wasn't that cheap, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Can you imagine? Dude, they must... Yo, and that makes no sense, because their apartment in the beginning yeah. is such a shit show. Because... It's, it's so gross. It's because like he's room. spending money on things he shouldn't. That's a good point. Then again, Dan- the Daniela, she's life. a high class... She's a classy gal. You know, she, she runs a tanning uh, oh, yeah, business. She's, she's like, come down to my store. We're going to get you a tan. Oh, by the way, I like that she's like... That was like, not her accent She's like, you got a tan. Make sure to wear a string bikini. Also, take this off. She's about to take the girl's <laughs> necklace off. Uh, but she never takes it off. It's just a way to, you until know... It, yeah, until she's she does. Like, she's like, they found me with it when I was raised by the nuns. Uh, and I never take it off. It's the only thing I have for my mother. And I almost vomited because I'm like, oh, you came out of an egg and you're human. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but then Luigi, we find out, which never comes up again, which really pissed me off. They're not brothers. And not only are they not <laughs> brothers, Mario is old enough to be this dude's dad. I thought yes. it was his dad at yeah. first. I'm like, oh, okay, this is weird. But then yeah, said, Mar- Mario is like plumbing. Mario's like my mother, my brother, <laughs> my father, my sister, my uncle, my whatever so, else yeah, he is. So, my grandfather, uh, my guess, grandmother, <laughs> my great grandfather, my great grandmother. I guess Mario, <laughs> at this point, <laughs> I guess Mario go. adopted this young boy and yeah. made him his brother. Uh, uh, but they're not brothers. It should be Mario Paisanos. Yeah, that's what it should be. Dude. Yeah, that's what it should be. That's what it should be. <laughs> it's not. That's not their last name. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so that that double date is uh, interesting. Um, Afterwards, uh, (laughs) Mario's dropping his lady off at her apartment. Yeah, because he asks, like, can I I walk you home? (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, Luigi goes to walk Daisy. They're continuing their date. I'm like, why did Mario not get invited back up? But then I was realizing 
Oh, they probably did stuff in the car. Mario couldn't wait. He is such a ladies' <laughs> yeah, man. For sure. They probably did stuff on the way to the date and in the van. That's funny. It's like Mario couldn't even be bothered to walk her all the way to the door. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is? Mario had another lady waiting. <laughs> he had probably. another lady waiting. <laughs> this guy's an animal, dude. He's got it. I like I like our revisionist memory of this movie where he's just a sex crazed. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, that makes the movie more enjoyable for me, and I don't know why. <laughs> this is so if boring. only they explained that, I've been like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it would make more um, sense than whatever. The f- so when they get to the dig site at night, I didn't notice during the day, but it is a beautiful match shot of the Brooklyn Bridge, and you can see some buildings in the background. Yes, you can. Now, she's taking him around uh, the dig site and showing him all the bones not fossils, bones. Bones. And she's like, look at this dinosaur. It looks like it's trying to be a person. It failed. <laughs> yeah, it's an, I, it's I love how it's just job. like, it's just there. Like, there's no protection. There's no security. There's nothing. Yeah. They just well, that's her problem. She's like, they don't give us any security here. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's a good and point. And, uh, yeah. Their kiss is interrupted by those goddamn Scapelli saboteurs. Fucking Scapelli. And Fucking how do Scapellis. we know that they're Scapellis? Because <laughs> 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 They got name tags. Any person who has a shirt with their name on it is a major douche. <laughs> yeah, guys, oh. do me a favor. Afterwards, if you guys go like knock over a liquor store, can you change your shirts first? Yeah. <laughs> you got it. They're like, ah, oh, hack the movies, Joey C. These, yeah. these are Tony must be well, the it's mastermind. Co- it's covered up by overalls, so, okay. so I'll just be like, hey. Mine's just out there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, they cause like they're trying to flood the whole dig site, which I don't know how will help them in the long term. They're just being That's assholes. a good point. Yeah, at that point, they're just trying to sabotage them as much as oh. possible. Maybe they're just like, <laughs> yeah. And Daisy isn't just digging for the dinosaurs; it's also the meteorite because uh, it has iridium. So mm, she's like, we gotta, yeah. we gotta investigate this meteor. Um, who cares? In but Brooklyn. who's gonna save the day? The Mario Brothers. <laughs> they go there. Well, no, no. Luigi runs all, all the way, the home. way back. All the home. way home. He's like, Mario, I need your help. Let's go all the way back to the yeah. sewer to just fix this pipe. <laughs> Which uh, is funny because where that was shot mm-hmm. and where the the house location was in Brooklyn is at least a twenty five minute walk. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's just but, ridiculous. But running. Yeah, they were probably just the as long. Time. Yeah, you. Oh, that's 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 true. That's. No, that's I thought very they true. took the van. No, oh, no, oh, no, 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 because Mario has the Luigi van. and them walking. Yeah. They probably there. went okay. back with the van. Yeah. Um. So they actually are doing plumbing, which is yep. interesting. Yep. You yeah. don't often see Mario yeah, actually. When doing I think it. of Mario, I think of digging for fossils and plumbing. Yes. Which, the plumbing, sure. Digging for fossils. No. The extent of his plumbing in the games is just that he's in pipes. Yeah. <laughs> really, really At one point in the movie, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, we're going to get to it, but the way they get to the other dimension isn't through a pipe. Wow. And that It's something me off. I think the games took from the movie. I'll get to that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, they, they the, the Koopa cousins grab Daisy. And they bring her into the portal, which is like a flat wall that ripples when you go through, much like the paintings in Super Mario. 64. Yeah, but it's a rock with nothing on it. Just well, rock. look, the, look, the game perfected. Also, it. you missed the, <laughs> the part movie where, introduced it. That's what a did good I miss? point. You also missed the part where they both hit them over the head. Oh, it's so grab bad. Daisy, and the next <laughs> oh, moment yeah, they're, they're like, just, "We're up." They're running. They're yeah. they're running. Yeah, you don't we, even we see don't have any. Up. We don't have brain damage. We're fine. <laughs> we're the Mario Brothers. Uh, the and effects with, our game. The effects with the wall were pretty trippy. Yeah, I uh, agree. They grabbed the rock from her, uh, which but, is funny because like when she goes in, she just pops her head back out so they can grab the rock. Yeah. But when Luigi and Mario go in, they're fucking. They're, they're falling. falling through yeah. a portal. The How s- did she get back up? The the, through the, the thing? space between spaces, as they said in Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Oh, that makes so much sense, even though that's not how it's like at the end of the movie, but... I'm, I'm so mad I quoted the fucking Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. But anyway, <laughs> um, uh, But the effects are trippy, and I really enjoy that. And then they arrive in Dino Hatton. <laughs> that's it, what it's called? Yes. I hate this. One single and it looks, I hate this. And it looks like a knockoff Blade Runner. It's not even the fucking Mushroom King. Much like Highlander 2. Looked like a knockoff Blade Runner. 
Much like Batman 89 kind of looked like a knockoff Blade Runner. What was the new Blade Runner movie? Blade Runner 2025? It was boring. Exactly. Thank you. But the original Every one I love. Every person I said that, like, I went to see it, they were like, oh my God, it was so epic. I'm like, when? <laughs> No, the original one. I the never... original one people call boring. I'm like, fuck you. Yeah, that's wild. No, that's the wild. new one. I'm sorry. I have to say this. I never sit on my phone in a theater. I sat on my phone in that theater because I was so bored during Blade Runner 2020. Whenever oh, I said, I'm on my <laughs> phone in the theaters all the time. I'm like tweeting. So. And luckily, the theater was empty, and everybody else was on their phone too because they were oh, okay, bored. Okay, that's yeah. fair. I remember live tweeting the Aladdin movie. Okay, I had fun with that one. Dude, I have so much footage of you in that Aladdin costume on my hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to derail this the review. Aladdin I just costume? To... Yeah. How do you have footage of me in the Aladdin costume? <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> Even I don't have footage. I, 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 I used to edit need for to you. know this afterwards. Are you, are you confused with the Jafar costume? <laughs> yes, that's cool. I've worn with your both. Parent. I've yeah. worn both, yeah. but I more wore the, because I own the Jafar one. Yeah. I love yeah. that parrot video. I, mean, anyway, I, didn't, I didn't mean to derail it. I just had that I had. I was so excited so, that someone hated that movie. So yeah, after Blade Runner, even though Blade Runner wasn't a huge hit, a lot of movies like that, like noir cyberpunk look, and they all tried to imitate it. It is cool. Yeah, but they but not, not for everything. None of them really nailed it. Batman was kind of interesting. Yeah, was, yeah Batman was Batman was decent because it was in the past. Like, oh, this is like a Blade Runner look, but it was in the past. But they dropped that by the second movie, yes. which I did a video on. Yes, uh, Judge Dredd tried to do it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of movies really tried to mimic the Blade oh, Runner look. You're talking and, about the uh, Sylvester Stallone one. Yes, I thought I meant like the no. the, uh, the newer one. Uh, no. I was like, I like. However, that. Alan Silvestri did the music for this and that Judge Dredd movie. Mm -hmm. huh. The music is pretty good in this. Yeah, Alan Silvestri uh, did a good job. But it's not like. The game. It's it was just like boop, boop, doo, 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 as they're chasing. It's like you it sounds like a Tom and Jerry cartoon. You think the whole movie should have had? Doo, 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 I think this new movie's gonna have it, and it sounds great. So, yeah, they should have tried. New offensive movie. Uh, that was their chance to get it right, and they screwed it up. They yeah. screwed us again. What do you mean with Chris no. Pratt? Or he who should not be named? I don't know what we're calling him now. It's the worst thing Chris Pratt has ever done. So some dinosaurs <laughs> are sure. people. But then some dinosaurs are just small dinosaurs. We're eating I get the ideas like, okay, so if you're thinking like primates, it's like there's humans and apes, and then there's like little monkeys. A monkey. Yes. And I guess I guess <laughs> the, go stop. I, love I guess the human dinosaurs are the more evolved ones. Yes. And the dinosaurs who still look like dinosaurs, they're even like, they're like, he calls Yoshi a pet later on. Yeah. Or he calls him a throwback. Yeah, like they're, throwback. They're the yeah. ones that never fully evolved. They're still kind of stuck. You know what I did when I, when they were trying to explain that? I didn't listen because mm. I just, my head hurt. Well, we got a uh, look at our first Goomba. <laughs> and you probably watched it. You knew that was a Goomba right away, right? I mean, I did. But not really. No, I didn't. Did you know. know that that was a Goomba right away when that monster peeks out? You know, Tony, in the game, Goomba has a very big head. Oh, hold on. I have a visual representation here. I have my Super right Mario Brothers chessboard here. I'm confused a very why big head. on the bad guy side. And when I watched the movie and the guy had a really small head, I thought, that is not a Goomba. No big, way that is a Goomba. Game, big head, small body. Movie, small head, big body. I mean, I heard that the Goombas were weird, but I was when, like, I, I, when did, I saw that, I'm like, no. Yeah, I didn't even hear about that. I saw that they and I was very like, nice you suits. can't be kidding me. They have they very have nice, nice suits. suits. I was a little annoyed when the, they finally put the lizard in the Spider-Man movie. Oh, yeah. And I remember yeah. when that movie was coming out, I'm like, he looks like a Goomba. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I'm like, Ew. why did... Because lizard... Killer Croc has a flat face, but yeah. Lizard and Spider-Man always have the snout. Yeah. And then you give him a snout in the Spider-Man movies. I'm like, well, he looks like a Goomba. He doesn't look like a fucking lizard. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He doesn't have the suit. He's yeah. naked. <laughs> <laughs> we get to meet Dennis Hopper as Koopa, King Koopa. I feel like Bowser and Peach, people didn't really start saying that until Mario 64. The, I, I That's think my right. memory. Yeah, I, I, mean, I think you're right. I mean, that. there was the Mario Brother Super Mario Super Show. I watched that. I did I, watch one that, episode so no because idea. we owned it on like a DVD. Super Mario Brothers Super Show has the best Mario, Captain Lou Albano. I love, mm, I love his why? classic dude because he was an Italiano. That's right. Well, I showed you the uh, ad with him where it's like, if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's right. And yeah. I never did drugs. 
because yeah. of him. Because you'll drugs, go to hell before slugs. you die. It's Dr- very well, true. wait, wait. That's right. I do do drugs now because I watch not the slugs. faculty. Yeah, that's not right. slugs. I had to choose between drugs <laughs> Which and I did slugs. Edit. I remember editing the Iron Man. Yep. Yes. That. You know, oh. that slug propaganda of not doing drugs in the early 90s and late 80s. I was like, those slugs were behind Yeah, they're, they're up to something funky <laughs> on that one. And What's speaking the- of the faculty... You know, we pointed out yeah. that the faculty has one of the worst dummies I've ever seen in a movie. Okay. Right? And when Mario and Luigi get to the other dimension, Dino Hatton, mm-hmm. the old lady robs them. Right? Yes. You remember that? The old lady robs them for the That would actually make me laugh. Where she's like, stick them up! Yeah, stick them up, boys! Come here. Give me all you got. <laughs> and... So she gets thrown by the bouncer of the Boom Boom Club, I think it's called. Yes. Her name is Big Bertha. Yes. You know the fish? Remember the big red fish in the game? That's her. Yep. She evolved from a big red fish, I guess. Yep. And I hate this even more now. Yeah. And what happens is she gets thrown over into the street into, and she lands on a vehicle. Mm-hmm. And it is the worst dummy I have ever seen. Tony, show the clip. Wow, that's a bad dummy. I, I, can you believe that? I know. That's, okay. that's I disgusting. I thought half the movies was okay, bad. Okay, that's okay. what I'm saying. Okay, Joey, Joey. Just because I can't order <laughs> Jessica to make edits, <laughs> do, doesn't somehow give you the authority to order me to you make You got to show it anyway. I'm in control here, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, you did review Leprechaun in the Hood. Tony, show the clip of me in Ireland where I say Leprechaun in the Hood oh, because I forgot to send that to you. Jessica, the episode already came out. I know. I just show it now. Right now. <laughs> right now. It's past the past. Do you do it? Down an alley. <laughs> Leprechaun in the hood, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Wow, All I'm right. awkward. Okay. <laughs> Tony, also, I I'm gonna the- I'm gonna pee real quick. Is that okay? You son of a bitch. <laughs> I gotta pee really bad. Go, go, go. I'm go going. Now. I'm go. going. I'm going pee. Keep my seat warm. Dennis Hopper uh, as Bowser or King Koopa is based on Donald Trump per the writer. And I didn't know that. Oh, wow. Because he was like a really good president and made good decisions. Blech. No. <laughs> we were discussing this beforehand, though. It makes sense because he has the de evolutionized machine and all of his followers, I mean. Oh God! Our sub count is going down. Oh God! Oh God! No! No! Uh, ignore them. There, there it goes. Woke. There it goes. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Don't don't unsubscribe. <laughs> don't unsubscribe. Oh Jesus! Why would you do that? You know Johanna's on this channel. That's how we got those. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm not the one editing anymore. But oh, apparently, like a, per the uh, Johanna's message, is like, why did my fansly subs go down? Oh, uh, because Jess said something bad about Donald Trump. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, it was me. Yeah, I can kind of get that. I kind of yeah, get per, that. Like, I mean, it makes sense. The the ruler aspect of it. Yeah. The, Mario the hair. predicted the future. Yeah. yeah, the hair. Beautiful. No, I got you. Oh, I got hair. you. I got you. The hair was weird. There's always weird hair. His girlfriend is the, the aunt from Harry Potter, right? Yes. Yes. I don't. She's I, in... Um, or yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, is that their? Is that her? His aunt? I think it's his aunt. Right? Yeah, the yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Now who the is the mom? She, basically, who is she in the game? I don't know. Her name's Lena. <laughs> I don't think she's anyone from the game. So she was a just pointless. She was an original, fresh character, much like Cole Young from the New Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, I completely erased that from my memory because yeah. my brain's like, so, it was fun. Mortal Kombat was fun. Oh, I yeah, like, yeah. I do like some of the world building in this, as dumb as the world is, but I like that they have a plumber alert. Because remember, the portal's <laughs> only been closed for 20 years. Yeah. So in the past, plumbers must have accidentally went into the portal. Yeah, so they have a, a whole plumber alert yeah, that's for a good when point. plumbers are around. <laughs> I was confused. I'm like, how are they going to find a plumber? And it's like, oh, plumbers, because they have the belt. Yeah, I'm like, exactly. Because yeah. they're familiar with plumbers, because I guess because plumbers. the pipes and stuff, they were the only people who ever discovered. <laughs> yeah. And they don't want them going back to Earth and have being invaded and stuff. Yeah. Also, um, all the some of the buildings are named after... Uh, like oh, yeah. they're the, oh, the yeah. shoe store because they're uh, called the chain chomp bullet bills yeah there's bullet bills was there a uh, chain chomp? i forgot because the um i don't think chain chomp but um the shoes that they find later are called thomp stompers so they have the That's thomp right. stores yeah um but stupid. yeah there is a bullet bills um yeah so his plan is to fix the meteorite 
He needs Daisy to put the piece in the meteorite and merge the dimensions and combine them. And then he will rule the earth. Even though he doesn't have much of a military, he's just one city. With I a bunch of guys with tiny heads. Yeah, I don't know how he's really going to... I get merging the earth, but I don't know how you're going to take over. You know, it's funny because in uh, his city, he has a bunch of signs that say, like, elect King Koopa. There's a what, picture is of there, him Is there an election? Baby. Like, well, he's like President Koopa. I think they're going President because Koopa. Because he later oh, on in the predict the future. <laughs> la- later on in the in the movie, or you find out what happened what happened to the king. Yeah. But like, what did they? He did that to the king, and then he just got elected. Yeah, he's a hero of the people. He's like the people need to elect officials. He got rid of the uh, hierarchy. Apparently. Okay. He's just like, we need elected officials, but also he's probably scamming. (laughs) (laughs) I think he's the only one running in the election. Yeah, yeah, that's true. (laughs) Predicting the future. Didn't China just have an election or something? And like the guy won in the landslides, like, oh, I couldn't believe it. (laughs) 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 You know, good for him. That cracks me up. He worked really hard, okay? I just like that. It's like, wow. I did not see that. I, yeah, coming. I did not expect that. I can't believe he was. So yeah, um, Big Bertha steals the rock and gets away uh, when they, they get mugged. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, Toad is like a street urchin playing music, played by Mojo Nixon, <laughs> famous uh, musician Mojo Nixon. Uh, when they he said did a lot. That, when they said that was Toad, I'm like, fuck yeah. this movie. He yeah. did a lot of Psycho Billy stuff. Uh, we were cracking up because I looked up Mojo Nixon's IMDb. Oh god. <laughs> His picture is of the Goomba version of his character. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think is not even like played by him, right? It's not even, yeah. it's probably a stuntman and it's an animatronic, but you type in Mojo Nixon and it's the Goomba. And I'm like, it should have not even the, a picture of him. It should have been the version uh, where he's like mid transformation. His mouth's like, ah. yeah. <laughs> it's also funny because like yeah. his haircut is so bad. It's not it's even like, like a, like, it's like, like, a the, sw- like toads. Yeah. It's yeah. like a, a, like a, a swirl, swirl. Yeah. shaven in. That might have just been something. Which, when he, he had. does, which, when he does change <laughs> to the Goomba version, he still has that swirl. Yeah. He does. I didn't know. Yeah. that. I never noticed that. Um, that, was I, I, that was the only thing I was like, "That's good." Everything else, <laughs> nah. So you, you're saying the movie is good? Only that. Part. Okay. <laughs> so they get arrested, and Daisy meets the other kidnapped girls. She sees Daniela in there, uh, and they tell her Koopa's. I love it. She's like, "They're looking for a princess." I guess none of us fit the bill. And I'm like, "That's funny." <laughs> I kind of want a movie of just stand yellow and marry. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know more about that. I want to know more about Mario's love life. If you <laughs> yeah. want to call it love life, I don't even know what Well, at least we know their last names. Yeah. Ah. Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. That's great. By the way, everyone always talks about this scene and like the funny joke. Mario. I, I can't Mario. help but noticing like the cap, the the police officer is like signing them in, has, just has a woman's legs massaging yeah, him. Yeah, it does. Which is so I'm funny. Like, huh. He's okay. also the most normal looking cop in this. Like everyone else looks like kind of weird. And then, I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, but like this guy's just like, you know, I'm just a normal police officer. Um, yeah. Lay's leg. I'm here. I'm also part dinosaur. I bet. Um, <laughs> anyway, what's your name? <laughs> the, um, so the, uh, the mug shots, they think it's guns. Every that was good. Oh, so I many like things that. in this movie look like guns that aren't guns. That- also the cars are sparking a lot. I just remember that. Did I not say that Tony? Dude, listen. listen, I said that to Tony. They're like, and Tony said the smartest thing I've ever heard. Which, Tony, please say it. I mean, other people have said it. I'm you just, just heard it from me first. Okay, well, th- the whatever. reason all the cars are running on electricity and sparking and it's all electricity is because there's no fossil fuels in Dino Hatton because the dinosaurs never died to make the fuel. Is that wow. not the smartest thing you ever heard now, ever? No, that's something smart from the Mario movie. Now, if let me crush help. your dream. No, no, let me ruin it for you. <laughs> yeah. oh. Fossil fuels are like, it's like plankton and zooplankton and plant life. It's not really dinosaurs. Oh, so then it's bullshit now. Well, yes. it, he ruined it for me, too. Because people was... always, people like uh, Andrew There's Tate. Nobody... Andrew Tate, who we love and admire. and uh, But <laughs> he did get a few things wrong. One of them, <laughs> one of the things he got wrong, uh, sex trafficking women, I wouldn't have done that. The second thing he got wrong was in his uh, Greta Thunberg hit piece. He said, uh, my car runs on dead dinosaurs. It's like, well, technically it's not, not. It's not really dead dinosaurs because of where it is in the crust and stuff like that. Though, so. to be fair, when, I, when you in this movie, there's not a lot of plant life to begin with. Yeah, They do go to a desert, but that's not really 
Mm -hmm. plant life. That's sand. What else Andrew Tate was right about was uh, you always have to play chess, which is why I have my Super Mario Brothers (laughs) chess board. (laughs) So, yeah, but yeah, that's that's clever. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One more thing about Andrew Tate. (laughs) Did you see him saying that he looked in the mirror and had a full head of hair? And then the picture of him, it's like, that's a full head of hair to him. (laughs) He's bald. Oh it's like they God. like put, it's, it's like, like bad took a hair sharpie plugs. and yeah. marker on hair. It's, it's like, like the like, hair plugs from the guy. In, I'm like, dude, uh, that's probably guy. a full head of hair for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so Toad is talking to them, God, and he's I hate, like, I hate I, that it's Toad. Yeah, he's like, I think the fungus that's everywhere is our old king. I think he was devolved by Koopa, and right on cue, they get called in for questioning, and even though there were a Billion billboards of King Koopa's face all over the place. That's a great point. Wow. He uh, is pretending to be a public defender. To be fair, maybe they were like so overwhelmed, maybe they didn't see it. That's true. That's that's a good point as well. Or maybe dinosaurs all look alike to them. I don't know. Larry Lazard of Lazard Lazard, Conda, Dactyl, and Cohen. You know, it's also funny, like, he's normal in the whole scene. Mm. Like, his arms are normal. And then once he mentions the T-Rex, he does the whole Well, that's thing. a little bit later. That's a little bit yeah. later. Uh, in the year he's, he's kind of doing that the whole movie. Well, he, when he's pointing, he's like saying yeah. like, well, what did you evolve Before that, from? you're jumping ahead. Is that before that? Look, when he, yes. look, later on when he gets the lizard tongue, tongue I'm like, Ugh. Oh, that's, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's later. Scene. I yeah. know that's later. Yes, but listen, yeah. listen. Uh, yeah, so he questions them and he immediately drops his cover like two seconds. Oh later. yeah. <laughs> he's like, I need the meteorite. Why don't you know? Um, yeah, so he's like threat, and I love he's like a germaphobe. So after he touches them, the guy comes and sprays <laughs> he his hands, sprays his hands, but yeah. then he brings him to the Devo chamber. Yeah, crack uh, that whip. That's right, that's he beat me to it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was saving that all fucking day. I, <laughs> I was gonna say the Devo I chamber. I said that in my, in my uh, review. They cracked the whip. I had it, it was just like I didn't even <laughs> look how Here. sad you are. I didn't even have like a second to even like set it up properly. You're so sad. Sorry, right let's now. try again. Uh, they go to the Devo chamber. No, no, you got this one. You got this one. No, I feel bad. It's you took sad. that joke for me, but you owe me one, okay? <laughs> go for it, Tony. For <laughs> they go to the Devo chamber. <laughs> You owe me one. Edit next week's episode. <laughs> um, so yeah, they go to the Devo chamber. I can. I'm in pack. Uh, and they throw. God damn it! So they throw, <laughs> they throw Toad into the Devo thing, and they have him dressed up in the suit. Yeah, he's like, he's like, you're never gonna get away. Blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, <laughs> this is how I want to die. Yeah, this is how no. I, this, this is how I want to die. I want to be dragged by the government <laughs> and ha- and be lobotomized as I'm telling them I hate them all. I, I hate all of you. Why do you steal my money every year? I blah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought you wanted to die from Little Shop of Horrors. When, when oh yeah, the Little Shop of Horrors. I'm, so, like, I'm sorry, Tony. Yeah. I'm a huge fan, but that's I the real. Now. That's the real way I want to die. I that's want a the woman other to try. Want to I want a woman to try to seduce me, and then her angry boyfriend come in saying he's a fan of me and machine gun me. <laughs> <laughs> All the cameras are rolling. <laughs> like, ah. Fun fact: That was the last episode I, I edited. Yes, it was. Um... So yes, uh, Toad is a Goomba now. Goomba. Goomba. Uh, they even give him his little, uh, little harmonica, harmonica back. That's cute. That's cute. And, like he can't reach the harmonica, but that makes the sound anyway. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, hey. Um, okay. I told you about this one. So th- there is a new cut of this film that was discovered. I think it was like a work print or something mm-hmm. that came out a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was a VHS they tape. They take it up that. like the dinosaurs? Yes. At the, they they, <laughs> op- well. they opened well. the door, got on the floor, and they <laughs> dug up that <laughs> tape like a dinosaur. <laughs> like so, a dinosaur? <laughs> so uh, at the time of this recording, I have not watched it. I've never watched it. Thursday, after this episode comes out, I will have a work print video Woo-hoo. about that cut. But I noticed something, and I wonder if it's part of a deleted scene. So you know when they throw Koopa onto the chair and send him into the Devo machine? Did did you notice <laughs> that he's sitting on an empty Koopa suit, uh, Goomba suit, and that there's slime everywhere? Yeah, I noticed the slime on the yeah. floor because during the fight sequence, the guy, one of the guys, slips in the slime. I'm like, where where did that slime come from? Yeah, because Toad. Right. Toad went in with the I suit. I thought someone vomited or took a no, shit. No, no, Toad went in with the <laughs> suit on and then got up and that was it. And then they throw him onto an empty suit full of slime. 
So I think he tested the de-evolution to show that he could turn people into primordial ooze. And I think that whole sequence got cut, but they couldn't just cut the guy's outfit out. So Koopa sits on a goddamn empty outfit covered in slime. That's, and now there's slime. Yeah, there's everywhere. no other, there's no other reason for there's it. There's no other way you can yeah. cut around it. If you're going to delete that scene. And there's like um, 30 minutes of extra scenes, right? It's like 25 I think or so, 30 yeah. minutes. So hopefully yeah. I will learn more about this. Cause we have another question later on May, I don't know if we missed something. We'll see if you notice it. There's uh, a lot of cuts in this where it's just like, they're like, oh, they're captured by someone. Next scene, they're like, we're, we're, we're running, but we're not. No one's grabbed us. Yeah. And yeah. But, a lot of weird cuts. Yeah, there are a lot of weird cuts. But that one, that was the first one I noticed. And I never noticed it before until I watched it on Holly. Yeah. Holly's Holly movie. Holly movie dot CC. Thank you. Holly movie dot CC. I just thought someone took a shit because they were so afraid of Mario. <laughs> like, oh God. So they break out of uh, the prison and they steal a car. <laughs> And Mario says, let's hit the bricks. Because Mario hits bricks. Get it? Come on. He hits no. the bricks. Come on, dude. I'm booing Why? This movie. Japan did it. They did the animated Mario movie. Why don't they just redub that and bring it to America? Why did they decide to just... Because why did they Hollywood decide, uh, is greedy. Why did they try to do a live action Mario? Because Hollywood <laughs> wants Bob Hoppy and John Leggy it's, as Mario and Luigi. You know the fight scene that yeah. happens right before they get in, they steal the car? Yeah. Luigi goes and like tries to like throw a punch, but he like half throws the punch and then knees him in the stomach. It is the most awkward fight I have ever <laughs> seen in my life. Is Once that- you see it, you, you cannot unsee how bad it is. It's mm. so bad. There is some cartoony stuff like, uh, what was it? When he, <laughs> Luigi opens up one door and then it's like, oh God. And then like uh, the army guy or like the, one of the guys comes through and he's like, oh, gotta go through this door. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, how did you not know if someone opened the whatever? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they escape in the electric car and they almost die. But the fungus saves them. The fungus is on their side. It's almost as if it's alive. And Toad was absolutely right. Yeah, and he's and Luigi sees the bomb, mm. and I'm like, that's the closest thing from the game that looks that looks like something from the game. Yeah, but he doesn't grab small. it right away. Yeah. Mario's like, let's get out of here. It's like, so the, ew, gross, it's in boogers. Ugh. Yeah. So the Koopa cousins alert Koopa that they are in the desert. And he's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Go follow them. Isn't uh, that when he's oh, in, in that's, mud? Yeah, that's, that's when, when he's, he's in his mud yeah, bath. That's right. All up, like up to his neck. neck. <laughs> and I, I remember, like, <laughs> even as a kid, this line just stuck with me for so long. You know what I love about mud? It's clean, clean and dirty, and dirty at, at the, the same, same time. time. But you know what's uh, weird about that scene is the Koopa cousins just walk into the mud yeah. Yeah. and they talk to they're him. Like, like, hey, we gotta get closer to you. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, like, that's so, so weird. Um, so they're in the desert. All right, why are you in yeah, the mud he, bath? He tells the girlfriend to prepare the princess and she's jealous of the princess. Um, so Koopa waited this long to make his cousin smarter. He had this option that's the a, entire yeah. time. This option the entire time to make them smarter. I like the one being like, I'm sorry, I had to be you, Spike, you know? Anyway, see ya. You're going to make a great Goomba. Yeah. Yeah. Because they choice. think they're being de-evolved, yeah. but it turns out they're being smartened. <laughs> and they come out Smart. and they're all like... Even, they're- when, even when the... What was it? What's the other one's name? The other one Iggy, who, and Spike. Iggy and Spike. Yeah. Iggy, yeah. he was just like... He's like, no, no, don't make me smart. It's like, you're, you're, you're fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, he knew that he was getting smarter and he still freaked out. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. 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 Uh, but they get smarter and, and that like, should make them more equations. efficient. Yeah. Um, oh, but they got the equation wrong, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He looked it up. <laughs> yeah, I looked it up, and he asks what the square root of twenty six thousand four hundred and eighty one is, and Iggy, or and I think Spike says one ninety one, which is wrong. It one ninety one is the square root of thirty six thousand four hundred and eighty one. So he got the first digit wrong because he said twenty six thousand, but it's actually thirty six thousand. Now you're probably thinking, boy, <laughs> you you really looked that up, yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, he did. I had to. I had to fact check them. There's no way. I mean, they're still. They're not that smart because they get taught later. Maybe that's just how dino math works. You ever think about that, you asshole? <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry for not being inclusive to uh, the dino world now of that's math. Species. I'm not much of a scientist myself. <laughs> Daisy learns more about her mother and father, and she learns that she is the only one who can physically merge the two dimensions without getting killed. Um, also, the dinosaurs are kind of racist. Uh, they think monkeys and apes are the same thing. They are super racist. He's like, where do these uh, humans, what What do they send from? Uh, monkeys, monkey. sir. Apes. And I'm like, 
Those are two different things. Yeah. You know, it's it always baffled me, and by always, I mean the last three days, because that's when I saw it. Yeah. But, like, why does the dino side of the dimension know about the humans, but the humans don't know about the dinosaur realm? Because, because the humans Cuba, didn't know about the, the portal. The dinosaurs had more access to the portal, and they kept it quiet. You also, answered how did my they question. Have a- no, wait, no. Now I, I remember how they have access, but the media. Yeah. Yeah. But I like, do like at the they- same time, they, they're falling in that, that hole, so I'm like, how are they... Whatever. I, I don't know how it works. But I Mario. do like that they hate mammals. And like one of the movies playing <laughs> yeah. was like, I was a teenage mammal. Yeah. <laughs> like the yeah. horror movie. <laughs> um, I'd see that. I would too. So yeah, then we get to meet Yoshi. Yay! My favorite character in this movie. Yellow Yoshi. Yay. Now that's yellow. Who's that character there? Yellow shellless Yoshi. <laughs> That's not my Yoshi. It's a great animatronic. It looks great. Yeah. It looks like a really good animatronic. Um, he this is... one dinosaur looks really, really good. Yeah, yeah. He, I just realized that the, that Luigi's the queen. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and right. Peach is the bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, so funny. Yoshi looks great. He's he looks the great. closest, like, b- about the same as the character in the game. Because mm-hmm. he's a dinosaur and yes. not human. But I remember looking at that and being like, there's no way Mario's going to ride him. No one rides him. I would have loved to have seen Bob Hoskins yeah. on. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, um, so, yeah, Koopa comes in with this creepy scene. Again, it's he's almost Frank from Blue Velvet. He's really, he's really <laughs> creepy. Yeah, Makes yeah. you very uncomfortable. With the tongue. Yeah, the tongue was a little much, I think. Or he's like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, go, beep. And it's like, oh, di- yep, he's a lizard. Uh, but yeah, he's all pervy and he's mean to animals. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, he kicks Yoshi. Yeah. Right? He calls him a throwback and he kicks him. Is that the scene where he says, like, you, you never forget the first time you kissed a lizard or something yeah. like that? Yeah. So what they creepy. say, you never yeah. t- <laughs> Dinosaurs weren't lizards. That's a, wait a second, what the hell? That's a great point. I know, I know. Uh, the Marios and the Koopas, uh, cousins, they confront each other out in the desert. They get caught, the Koopa Koopa. Oh, freaking walled off uh, cyberpunk city surrounded by a desert. This is literally <laughs> Judge Dredd. Yeah. I know it existed. In, I know the Judge Dredd movie wasn't out yet, but that yeah. was from the comics. That's true. So, yeah, they confront each other uh, and they give Mario the Mario's key information that we as the audience already know, but the Mario's didn't know. Uh, and they realize they need to get the rock back from Big Bertha uh, or Berta. Is it Berta or Bertha? Bertha. Bertha, Bertha okay. yeah. So the Mario's and the Koopas. The yeah. I hate now that I hey, forgot. Red, uh, well, you <laughs> probably recognize the characters that are now about to come up because uh, they show up at the garbage thing and they fight those shy guys. You know, those black leather clad dudes with goggles. The those are shy thing. guys. Yeah. Or were they Hammer Brothers? Nah, I think they were shy yeah, guys. Yeah, I think they were shy guys. Shy guys. Yeah. <laughs> or people have told me that they're supposed to be shy guys. I don't actually know. They look like gimps with goggles. Yeah, we <laughs> I was just gonna say that. I, I was oh asking my in my reaction, who the fuck are these characters from Mario? Yeah, they don't look nothing like the shy guys, like, yeah. except for the mask, yeah. but no, yeah. at the same time. So they gotta go to the club. They gotta go clubbing. Yeah, and when Mario I when be... I think of Mario, I think of going to the club. What was it? What was the club called? The the Boom Boom Club. I think it was yeah, that. The yeah. Boom Boom. But club. they they go there and they're cosplaying as ketchup and mustard. They're wearing <laughs> they red were and so yellow. They were so close. They were so close <laughs> to having red and green. Instead, they give red to Luigi and yellow to Mario. That's so and funny. Mario is like, how? What what is he gonna use to get? This rock, and he's like, "Oh, just like the sexual energy yeah. that radiates he, from me." The birth is into he, it. He, just he, says, he grab, on, he tries dude. to grab the rock. He motorboat. He like <laughs> starts to motorboat her. I love that. Like he tries to approach her at first, and she punches him, and he's like, "I've never been hit like that before. Hit me again." She's like tense with me, and she's like, I'll hit she you was like, oh my god, she's like, oh my god, that's my kink. This is the most <laughs> amazing man I've ever seen." <laughs> He's a man's man. He's a man's man. But I think they get the rock from her, and they're trying to dance their way out of the bar. Yeah, she, they get and the rock, and she's like, where did he go? Yeah. Yes. I wanted to punch him or something. And uh, boy, are they dancing. They're uh, they're opening the door. They're getting on the floor, <laughs> and you bet it. They're, they're walking, walking the dinosaur. The dinosaur. <laughs> they My really are, because they're going like, 
Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand. Do. This song's gonna be in my fucking head for the rest of the week. Everybody get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Dude, I seriously think that's like the ninth time you've said that to me. And like the yeah, I know. It's like the yeah. fifth time you said it in this review. Yeah. So Koopa's uh I have it in my notes. Koopa's broad gets the rock. Uh she somehow gets the rock from them because they're struggling with it. Yep. Uh, she's, uh, like, she's like, oh, I get the rock. Yeah, but Bertha <laughs> decides to save them. Because she's in love with Mario, and how could you not be? Yeah, and they kiss say. each other, and I'm like, yeah. Okay. You know, very an interracial, interspecies, because she's technically a descendant of a dinosaur fish and an Italian man. So, uh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. It's very I progressive. You, I thought you were saying she was a descendant of, of a... Of a Pre-sore fish and an Italian man. I'm like, no, 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 no. He is an Italian man. She is a human-looking fish dinosaur person. Wow, yeah, this movie is is pretty progressive. They're they're star-crossed lovers. I feel if he wasn't already (laughs) tied down with Daniela, that would have been the one he chose. Tied down. He doesn't have a ring. We didn't put a ring on it. You know what? I do think I do think him and Daniela might be a little poly. I'm I'm just saying they have to be. Yeah, he cheated on her, right? But she's he, probably done the same. I mean, potentially, well, but they were supposed to go to WrestleMania. Well, listen, listen. One, <laughs> one, it doesn't count when men do it. Remember, we learned that from Hustlers oh, University. We're, right. we're big Tate fans. Right, I forgot. You, you showed two, me that slideshow earlier. Two, he was undercover. And, you know, fuck? sometimes when you're undercover, you got to do things you wouldn't normally do. So it was just business. It was just a part of the job. That's fair. That's and I'm fair. sure I, Daniela would respect that uh, explanation. Just anything to get the mission accomplished. Yes. Right. Yes. It's probably one of the things she loves about Mario, his dedication to his craft. Hmm. You know, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to point this out. You've been trying to say Mario this whole time. You've been saying Mario. I've been saying Mario. I want to say Mario. I'm, I'm trying. Mario. It's Mario. (laughs) We decided we're not going to say Mario. (laughs) Mario, Mario. So listen, listen. Also, Um, everything you just said was bullshit. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Are you saying we shouldn't have spent $6,000 to sign up for Hustlers University? (laughs) I know the head of the university is in prison right now, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. (laughs) Me and Tony went hands. And this is, and this, you know what? No wonder you can't pay me. (laughs) (laughs) Why isn't Chess your editor? I'm like, well... I haven't had a girlfriend over here, so I got to spend all my money on Hustlers University. <laughs> I'm getting good crypto tips, and I'm learning how to talk to and handle with <laughs> Tony, sometimes I think, you know, why are me and Tony single? <laughs> it's because we fucking make jokes like this. <laughs> Any potential girl no, would that watch. No, that doesn't count, because we, not a lot of women watch this show, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, some of the girls that know me, I tell him to go watch oh, that so I can impress why him. would you do that <laughs> and then Tony look, fucking look. says an Andrew Tate joke look <laughs> why would you ever do that that's a horrible idea <laughs> look I've had yeah it's mostly men who watch this I should know <laughs> oh the video I have gotten Chess do me a favor if you're trying to date someone don't send them episodes of the show <laughs> yeah don't don't take don't take after no wonder me. why people on Tinder didn't like me well, definitely don't send him the creep off stuff. We forgot to mention Jess is the review girl for the creep off. Yeah, <laughs> definitely don't send him the most horrifying true crime show hosted by two assholes who I love. Yeah, you're <laughs> that. yeah a bunch of people on the creep off uh, who call in or the review when we take my top off, and I say fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> when you were like, I'm going to be the review girl. I'm like, oh god, okay. Hey, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny because. It's not going to happen. It's not. <laughs> Vinny took his top off, so. <laughs> Carl wore a cow bikini. So Bertha gives them the, the thwomp stompers, the boots. Yes. Uh, and they're finally jumping. They're jump mans. What? That's what jump you men. Call it. As they jump with crates over their head. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and they're jumping like Mario does. Yeah. Don't you love how. And then flying. Yes. Don't you love how it reinterprets this children's video game as a. As a sci-fi kind of thing for adults. It's bullshit. It's, it's very fun. <laughs> yeah, very fun. It's bullshit. Um, the fungus gives them the bomb, bomb And they finally take it this time. Uh, while that's happening, yet. Koopa threatens the old king. Who is, oh, yep. That's who right. is a ball of fung. He's all over the city. He's but a ball of snot. His core yeah. is a ball of snot that hovers above his fungus. old throne. Yeah, like why did they not move that out if he's like, supposed to be the king now? And he's just like... Oh, yeah, uh, but then... Snot. He's because you you were confused. You're like Dino Hatton. That's not where Mario is. But they thought about that because Koopa says you can have this mushroom kingdom, and I'm like, he said the words. 
I'll be honest, I w- my head was killing me at this point. <laughs> I did not retain that. Thank God that you watched it a thousand times because not I, a thousand. I haven't seen it more. You're right. Than I probably should. Right. I will say though, when when he said the uh, you can have this mushroom kingdom, Tony sat right here and said he said the thing. He said the thing. <laughs> So I witnessed it. He did we say the so thing. We had so much fun watching this movie together, and then we watched Return of the Moonwalker and ruined <laughs> yeah, it. We did. We ruined it. We had a blast. We ruined it. You should have had me there because I would have the whole time just been going, hey, ow! <laughs> no, don't worry. The guy in the movie was doing that enough. Yeah, so, but I want to do it too. This is the beginning of the pizza gag. Ah, uh, yes. Koopa orders a pizza, the Koopa special. Yep. By the way, he has a video link to the pizza place. I was just confused at first. Yeah. He has a- <laughs> yeah, he has the gun. It's like their computer he's masses just holding it while he's talking to the and guy. He's like, I, I want like, this. I want this. Hold the mammal. Yeah. Hold the <laughs> mammal. You don't want that Spicy. mammal. Spicy. I was just confused. I'm like, is he holding this pizza guy at gunpoint? And the guy's like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, do you not see this <laughs> yeah. gun? Hey, it's Koopa. Just some, like surfer. Like, like it like, happens. Like, all, like the president just calls all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I was just. I thought he had him at gunpoint. I'm like, oh, that's the mouse. Yeah, it's the '90s obsession with. It's, it's like the cameras things. that look like guns. <laughs> the mouse oh, yeah. is also a gun. Yep. So Mario messes up Koopa's pipes. Uh, he starts. <laughs> that like, sounds weird. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't clean his pipes, thank God. Uh, but he freezes his pipes, and they're like, "We have to blend in." There's plumbing uniforms, or just uniforms to blend in, and it's the Mario Brothers color. Where did they get them? How long into the movie? It was in a this, locker room. Like it took them this long. And they're like, six hey, minutes into the movie, we made Luigi red the entire time. Now he's green with a backwards hat and a and a rainbow. Yeah, yeah. what was the point of that that bell? Gay pride. I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that that's what it was in 1993. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, no, I yeah, it's weird because they're doing it to blend in, but no one else is wearing those uniforms. And yeah, and they then, get caught. Yeah, those. well, and then the Goombas enter well, the they elevator. Don't get caught there. And they have to hide. I'm like, well, aren't you wearing the uniforms to blend it? I assume that's like what people wear there. But they just wanted to look like the car- They were like, well, we've wasted an hour. Time to make this really a Mario movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. That's true. Yeah. We only got happened. 45 minutes left. It's just going to feel like two hours for Jessica. Got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so Koopa, oh. sen- Koopa sends his cousins to get executed. Uh, and his lady betrays him. She betrays him. I saw that coming. Yeah. Meanwhile, in the elevator, the the Mario brothers are there, but all the Goombas keep entering. And they're like, how are we going to get out of them? We're going to get them to dance. Luigi has the most genius idea to make them sway. And it works. He just like pushes them side to side. And he goes up one by one. (laughs) Yo, that's so true. With the tiny heads and the giant body. That's how they talk. They're always just like, "Eh." Dude, that is so <laughs> accurate. And plus, uh, I have to make a, a notable shout out to the alarm sound effect. It's the same one as Super Mario or uh, Golden Eye sixty four. Classic sound effect. <laughs> oh, you Super had, you Golden had, Eye sixty four. Super Golden Eye sixty four. You had me excited. I'm like a Mario. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, also, yeah. I love that after a while they start dancing like. Hey, and they turn to the, each other and they start, yeah, they start dancing, dancing with each and other. And the one opens up, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like oh, yeah, the one that yells. It's <laughs> like the spikes on there. I'm like, oh, I guess it's the general. Who cares? Yeah. Lena tries to kill Daisy, but Yoshi saves her with his tongue. Yep. He's got a big tongue. But I saw that. I'm like, okay, that's from the game. And then he gets stabbed. Oh, yeah. And I thought he brutal. died at that point. I was like, oh, Yoshi. <laughs> he comes back later. He's like, see you. Tiny yellow can't be ridden Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the sequel he would have been bigger. I don't know. Maybe when he's fully grown. Yeah. Maybe. Which we'll never know. Um, yeah, so uh, Daisy teams up with the Koopas, the Koopa cousins. Yeah. And Toad saves them. He, like, sacrifices himself, kind of. I know he's bringing food. I forgot earlier Toad, like, goes to bring her food. It's just raw meat. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's, like, I'm a, she's like, I'm a vegetarian. And he's like, okay. <laughs> and he comes sick. back with the vegetables. Yeah, he's again. like, back. stop simping over her. <laughs> and he, he like, uh, gets in the way of the fire and stuff. And yeah, he kind of saves like, them. She's like, we gotta save him. She's like, I hope. Bye. She's like, I hope he's okay. Uh, and then this was so emotional. When Daisy met her dad. It was it was beautiful. It was a beautiful reunion there. Her dad, the ball of snot. The ball yeah. of snot. And so she's gross. like, hi, and dad. I do- and he's just like, 
So gross. Coming, and out the Koopa, the, coming out of a pipe. Finally a pipe. That's a good point. And the Koopa cousins are smart. And they're like, we should probably leave the yeah. movie. Let's yeah. get out of the movie. They they do this. Know, the, their smartness has come in handy. Yeah, yeah, they do this like rhyme thing, like leprechaun rhyme thing. Yeah. Like those who run live to fight another day or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he does something where it's like, this would be time for a clever retreat. Or a retreat would be clever. Or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jess, play the clip. I'm not sure. What... No. Me, play the clip. <laughs> I'm not job. sure what they said. A retreat is in order. An ordered so the Marios, they need to make a leap of faith. There's a there's a big jump and they have to do it. This is such bullshit. Okay, okay. Now, did, <laughs> Jessica, did we miss something? Where did their boots go? Because when they're in their uniforms, they're wearing the thwomp stompers, but suddenly they don't have the boots. Did we miss something? It's called bad editing. Okay. There must have been a mm. scene where they lost the boots. There then. has to. They're... I mean, that's maybe a possibility. They got, maybe they got too heavy and they're like, all right, we gotta take these fuckers off. Well, they, I remember yeah. they said she, she she told them to put a cartridge in. So it's like, did it run out of juice? Either way, I don't think we ever saw them take the boots off and leave the boots. But also, do they have regular shoes inside the boots? Because when they take the so. boots off, they still have their, I would their, hope yeah. so. their shoes on. <laughs> they have to do the leap of faith. And I think Into the Spider-Verse stole this scene. Um, I think the scene did it better, to be honest. Stop. I would agree. Just stop. Let's it. add the song from Into the the spider verse <laughs> into Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, danger? Luigi, he thinks he's flying because he he's a believer in the supernatural. He's a believer. Yeah, and he's yeah he's a believer. <laughs> I don't know why I thought he's, of that. And he goes to Mario and he's like, baby, baby. No, but he tells baby jump. He tells Mario and he's like, hey man, you got to jump. And Mario's like, all right, I'm gonna do it. But then he notices last minute. He's like, oh no, wait a minute. I'm How stuck. How did he not hook. notice that? What the. Fuck. He jumps and falls, and then it cuts to him back up there. Yeah, yeah. So, well, like, he, he jumps on the fungus. It's yeah, like, Whoa. yeah. Then Mario's and jumping on the fungus. And Luigi forgets the ground the first time. He's like, "Oops!" Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "I'm falling again." And then he catches him. He's like, "See, I got you. You can trust me." It's yeah. like you made him fall twice. Yeah. <laughs> so they finally all unite in the fungus king room, um, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is the room. de-evolution room dressed up. Uh, Mario finds out what. <laughs> Stop it. No, you've already ruined it. You've ruined it. I can't do Devo anymore. Crack uh, that way. Mario finds out that his lady is being captive with other ladies. And he's like, there's a room full of. I'm out. Bye. Yeah, he leaves. <laughs> he's like, nice to meet, so nice meet you, Dad. I got to go. Not even like, we got to go as a team. He's like, yeah, have fun. Yeah. We're going to kill all yeah. these girls. It's so true. He's just. He's, <laughs> We had tickets for WrestleMania. That was, that's, this is the scene. <laughs> all right, Danielle. So, um, Fuck, we had WrestleMania tickets. So yeah, which is where all his money's going. <laughs> he, he leaves like the Alpha Chat he is. Uh, and Daisy <laughs> and Luigi are captured. Yeah, they like walk out the door and, 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 Koopa <laughs> and Ko there. Koopa's right, like, oh, hello. Timing, yeah. And he's just like, there oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Um, I love when Mario's in there and he's trying to help the girls out. They're going to break out of the pipe. And he's like, you're the Mr. Girls from Brooklyn. They go, yeah, except for Angelica. She's from Queens, but she's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did not pick that up. Again, head was hurting. Yeah. Mom's so Koopa now. is excited now. He's got the rock where he knows what's going to happen. Um, he's ready to invade Earth and he really wants his pizza. It's still not there yet. This pizza thing is a very, very serious thing for him. Uh, we get pipe surfing. Mario's in a pipe. Yeah, you think they have Mario music, and so it's just like this. Dun, 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 like yeah, it does turn music. into like surf yeah, music. I'm like, uh, you would think they'd make the now, pipe green. Oh yeah. yeah, that's true. Now, when I think of Mario, I think of Mario sitting on a mattress with a bunch of girls from Brooklyn and one from Queens, mm -hmm. uh, sliding <laughs> down, sliding down a, an ice pipe yes. to rock and roll surf music. I, I mean, that's what I, that I really my, want Mario to be, to be honest. <laughs> that was my favorite Having level. a bunch of broads to surf in <laughs> That was my favorite level in the game. <laughs> Funny, because even, even in the frozen pipe, they still show the sparks of, like, the the Koopa's uh, or the I think it's the Goomba's boots yeah. scrapes up against the the yeah. the ice and it's their still spark sparking. budget was out of control yeah, yeah. I, I mean uh, when they're going down they have like the icicles and they're like duck and they're like oh, oh yeah. yeah and then it's he puts so his goofy. wrench in and they're like Ugh. impeccable aim might yeah. I say uh. but um when they break out of the pipe you said it was like one of the worst green screenshots where they're all on the matches they're like it is oh, it, I it, 
It literally looks like a Disney Channel original movie you from know, the I late 90s. You know, I purged this movie from my mind. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> Jessica, it's closer to your mic. I realize you've been, you've been a little too close now. to me. <laughs> <laughs> Celine Dion? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. What a way to get back into the, my mic. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, everyone unites, and they start to face off against Koopa, and his pizza arrives. Yep. Woo! And you know what he says? <laughs> I love it. I love there's just a guy who keeps interrupting. Like, Koopa, your pizza's here. He's like, hold it. And then they're like, Koopa, the Goopas are dancing. And he's like, take care of Like, I'm busy right now. <laughs> I love how he has the little cloth on the phone so he can protect himself. Yes. From yeah, now, it- you said, where did they film this movie? Oh, they filmed that, that city scene in a, a cement and steel mill. So, yeah. like, it makes sense that all that cement blocks. Yeah, I was like, going to say, I mean, the, the big cement mixer thing. I mean, yeah. I well, they Mario. must have got a big deal on that because it's like a centerpiece of their film. When I think of Mario, I think of cement. Yes. Yes. Not plumbing. No. No. Cement workers. <laughs> yes. Well, s- someone has to make the thwomps. Dude, it was just there. And, like, they were like, oh, yeah, let's you use You know, that, that actually thing. makes sense. It's sentient cement. Oh, my yes. God. Whoa! Uh, yeah, uh, so they're they're like fighting. Lena gets the rock again, uh, and she falls and gets electrocuted for the first time. She will <laughs> yeah, soon be electrocuted right, yeah. again. <laughs> um, it's so goofy. I love that she I, and she gets like this the yeah the like, stri- the, like the the young the Frankenstein right like the bride of I, Frankenstein like, thing. <gasps> I do love that the taxi just has a skeleton on it. So like obviously <laughs> yeah. at some point the taxi ran over a guy and just left him there. To I didn't decay. notice that. Yeah, yeah, there's a taxi with just a skeleton on it. It's like he just with left clothes. Him there. Yeah, yeah, with clothes. Yeah, with clothes on. In clothes. Wow. Um. Now this movie I never thought makes you think. Yes. <laughs> Not uh, in a good way. Lena, in a way. Uh, she tries to unite the meteor. Uh, Mario winds up the babam, but it fails. Or does it? This is the longest. Bomb. There's a payoff for this. Like, I'm like, I'm the like, fungus oh now god. has to direct the babam to the area. Oh my god! Now if the that fungus had the babam this whole time. Couldn't couldn't it have like used the fungus to direct it to headquarters and blown up headquarters? He probably didn't have a lighter. Or somebody to crank. Oh wait, no, it. yeah, somebody to crank it. Yeah. Sure yeah. Could, I forgot it had the crank. Because when you crank it, then it ruined my brain. (laughs) I forgot to mention, they also took a mushroom. Yes, they did. Saving it for later. Yeah. I thought Um, they were going to eat it, and they were just going to (laughs) get... And get big? Yeah, Yeah. that probably makes sense. I saw in the commercial (laughs) next to Fire Donkey Kong that he eats a mushroom and he gets bigger, and I'm like, okay. I I didn't watch the new trailer yet. You don't have to. It's not a spoiler, because it's in the trailer. I didn't. I... I really don't want to see When Chris Pratt stood next to Monkey Seth Rogen... Is that is that bad to say? You just said like the worst string of words I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> a monkey. Chris Pratt, who is just making a mockery of my proud people. <laughs> Stop. Italians who have never done anything wrong. Joey backs me up. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and Seth Rogen, like the least funny guy who's about to ruin the Ninja Turtles. Again. Hey, in the commercial, he says it is on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> I bought tickets already, and I'm so excited for this movie. I'm going to see the movie. I'm going to see it opening And we're going to talk about it in our live wrap-up. If you want to be in the live wrap-up for April, we can talk about it. I'm probably going to see it twice. Okay. We probably (laughs) should have one person who likes the movie there. Um, (laughs) So anyway. How do you know you won't like it? Never mind. <laughs> Chris Pratt is Mario and Seth, Seth okay, Rogen okay, okay. is Donkey Kong. I think we can think, think call it with this one, right? It's <laughs> shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Jack Black is Bowser. That's what I said. Uh, did you see him Not on enough. the Kelly Clarkson show where she's like, are you excited to be in this movie? And it cuts to him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dress as Bowser. <laughs> Go back to Brooklyn. Tell them about the invasion of the Goombas. Yeah. yeah. I'll be honest, I forgot we were talking about this movie. What's going to happen if you go around saying there's going to be Goombas in Brooklyn? What answer are you going to get? Yeah, they're going to like you get sent away to a lunar. No, they're going no, they're going to say they're already here. Oh yeah, Brooklyn. There's a lot of Goombas (laughs) everywhere. Hey, Goomba! That's a great point. (laughs) That is such. You know, it's funny. My uncle used to call me Goomba when I was younger, Uh, and I always thought like, dude, he plays Mario. Yeah. <laughs> like, I never knew that that was, like, a term for New York Italians. Yeah. Uh, that's what Goomba means. Goomba. Yeah. So um, that's, those those little mushroom things or whatever. That's just, like. They're Italians. Yeah, those are New York Italians yeah. right They're, there. That's what they look like. That's why we're all short, because that's what they're modeled uh, after. Yeah. We are not evil mushroom men, okay? 
<laughs> Nor I, I don't we... know. I don't know. That Hustler University thing, it says otherwise. Look, I think it was a good investment, okay? It was... No wonder why you can't and When Andrew Tate gets out of jail. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Please. I don't Boom. back this. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Six thousand. So the the, ven- the dimensions merge. Lena dies. She turns into a skeleton, which you can find. She turns into a fossil, which you which is now at a bar in I think North or South Carolina. We've had Wilmington. friends who have visited yeah. that bar, and they still have it there. She's like the worst character in the movie, but I'll go see that. Yeah, Me too. She's a um, bitch. The dimensions merge, and then the twin towers turn into Koopa's towers. And the guy goes, so, "These guys will do anything for publicity." And we were confused. What he, guys he, is he referring? Yeah, to? Yeah, how would he possibly know who Koopa is? Unless he was referring to the the diggers, like Maybe? the people who are at the dig site, like yeah. like the students. I think they are from the university. Yeah, it's like probably. he's he's probably referring to them because he's trying to shut that down. Yeah. So that's who he's probably referring to, thinking they're doing something to raise awareness or something to the yeah. dig site. It's a weird line. It, it doesn't is really a weird makes line. sense. And the fact that we had to like try to deconstruct it means it's probably bad. Or maybe it's something for a deleted scene. I don't know. I don't, maybe. I'll find out later this week. Yeah, you will. Um so yeah, Daisy's the only one who could touch the rock without dying for some reason. I forget if there was a specific reason why. Because plot. Sure. Yeah. Uh and then Koopa, he's happy, he's on Earth now. He's going to rule, and he's got the Devo gun, and he uses it on Scapelli and turns him into a chimp. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Monkey. Now, uh, lip, lip. now the, uh, the Devo gun, I mean, oh, my God, such great production design. How do you think they came up the look for that gun? You know, they were probably playing video games one day and thought, this big hunk of plastic looks good. Just paint it gray and let's go. It's a super scope. Yeah. It's a Nintendo Super Scope with some parts glued onto it. But now, it, I don't actually, even think there's a part glued on. It's just like literally no, spray No, no, they definitely painted it and glued some stuff yeah, on Yeah, like it. it's just but so bad. Actually, I don't mind that. I actually would have loved if all the bad guys had Nintendo zappers and maybe like the headset. Oh, yeah. That if they like worked been... that in a little bit yeah. more, if there was like a Rob the Robot around there. They had the glove. Yeah, or yeah, like some of them, they have all this techie stuff. It'd be funny that if they would had a have been, That would have been clever. That would have been cute. I would have liked that. Yeah. I would have liked that. It yeah. kind of has the same magic for me as like the Ghostbusters using the NES Advantage. Yeah. And like as a kid, I probably would have enjoyed that I would if I noticed that. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, that's a super scope. That's cool. So, but yeah, they, they should have overplayed that because that would you know have been what? really awesome. Actually, I don't think they could have done the... Uh, the uh, the power glove because they already heavily promoted it in 1989 in The Wizard. Ah, uh, the classic, yeah. The classic movie, The Wizard. I'm sure a lot of people bought the power glove afterwards and then went, "This sucks." Yep. Yeah. So I think the power glove might have already failed by that point. Oh, wow. What I a wasn't time. born around the time it came out, but I've heard yeah. rave reviews of. Yeah. Uh, one star. So yeah, um, he used it on spell. He turns into a chimp. Uh, the monkey. The fungus protects Mario. From the Devo gun. Shut up. I'm not <laughs> doing the thing. Uh, but then the universe is demerged. And I like that Luigi's plumbing stuff comes back into hand. Like, like it comes back into the story. He's like, okay, I know I'm only apprentice plumber, but I know how to do this. We'll use these tools. I'm like, okay, that's something. That's something. Also, Toad survived. And he uses the power of music to stop the Goombas. With his... His harmonica that he can't reach. Which, fun fact yes. about that is uh, in the Italian release of this film, mm-hmm. that's where the movie ends. Right at, they did not like continue the movie after that in the Italian release of the film. Really? Yeah, that's the end of the, the movie. Is the Goombas dancing or yeah, the dimensions? The end of the movie when the Goomba dances or when all the Goombas dance. That can't be I real. I swear, I looked it up. Ugh. I looked it up. Well, I'll fact check it, I guess. That's Do pretty it. funny if it just ends there. <laughs> yeah. No resolution to anything. Yeah, I'm telling you. Um, so the Babam finally gets to where Koopa yeah, is. Yeah, it's like walking up a wall. Yeah. Oh my and it wears Reeboks. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. 
<laughs> and it blows up Koopa as he's being de-evolved and turning back into a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That part was weird. Uh, was like, the makeup I, effects yeah, look pretty cool. We if you look up makeup, like yeah. the stages and the effects that they made for oh, it, oh, it is. I thought really it was cool. just bad CGI. Well, no, the, the CGI, makeup they used, before like, that happened. They have like digital transitions. Gotcha. Okay, but it is a makeup effect, and I actually do. It would have been cooler in a better movie. But I do like when he falls into the cement mixer and like as he's getting bigger, you just hear it going like, ee, 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 and it's like getting lower <laughs> yeah. and lower. Yeah. And then he comes out and yeah, it is an animatronic T-Rex that head. Where I was like, okay. And I, I mean, it was, it's, I wish it, it was there longer. It's but, impressive. Okay. It kind of looked like the old T-Rex from the Back to the Future ride. Mm, um, yeah. But yeah, they, I mean, I mean, Carnosaur and Super Mario Brothers, they had the trouble of trying to show off not great looking animatronic T-Rexes in the year Jurassic Park came out. Yeah. So they had a lot of competition. Yeah. Luckily, it's not in the movie that long, the big T-Rex. Yeah. But yeah, they de-evolve him. He does turn into a CGI T-Rex for a minute. Yeah. And then he turns into a puddle of ooze. Yeah. If they had shown like a scene previous, like in the scene where Toad changes, mm -hmm. about that, well, that would have been like a, oh, look, that could happen. Well, yeah. There, and they there was something weird because Koopa did get almost evolved and you see his eye change and then at yeah. one moment when he's trying to flirt with daisy he turns into a dinosaur for that like a always confused me yeah like, he got de-evolved in the chair but then like literally the only thing that happens on that is like the tongue thing and yeah. the eye thing it's like is he just unstable now don't they have a way to fix that that was weird yeah that was, that was a really weird part. He just evolved he's just too busy waiting for his pizza yeah <laughs> He was waiting for his pizza. Um, so yeah, he turns to who's everyone is happy. And then the king shows up. Did you recognize the king? I didn't care. <laughs> How could you not recognize the king? No, no, I didn't recognize the king. I just didn't care. I was like, oh yeah, this guy. But then they don't. They, who, who, who is he, Tony? I'm so curious. I didn't recognize him. Lance Hamrickson, Bishop from Aliens. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't notice. He either. just showed up for yeah. that scene. <laughs> And how about the effect of him coughing up fungus? What was it again, Joey? It was Rice Krispies. And you see he's already holding it. You literally, goes, like, yeah. He just <laughs> pulled, like, he has his hand clenched the whole time and just coughs it out, and you can just see him fly out. It's love, so bad. Love those plumbers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did he get evolved? I just assume that with the death of Koopa that he just, like, magically turns back That doesn't back make any normal. sense. It doesn't make any sense. And listen, they he were ready. He states not... Dude, they were ready with that paint when they painted over his billboard. They had like wet paint. Yeah, they were red. ready to go. Yeah. I like that everyone's like, whoa! Yeah, exactly. Um, Wait, why is everyone cheering? Because in the beginning of the movie, everyone was robbing everybody. And now all of a sudden they're good guys and they're they're cheering. Well, maybe for the, because he, he just, just dismantlement of the establishment? I don't yes. understand. Well, listen, uh, the Marios return to Earth, but Daisy stays to help Dino Hatton. And I mean, also, you forgot to mention that. When they defeat the Koopa, they're jumping in the boots. Oh, and yeah. And he's all out. Like, and they're giving oh, like, the yeah, yeah. Mario's um, waving. He's just like. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I had to match that. So they, so they go home. She stays in Dino Hat and Luigi's sad. They kiss. Uh, and Mario's right behind him when they kiss. And he's like. Yeah. And at home, the guy on TV is like, I call them the Super Mario Brothers. And it's so cringe. Yep. Uh, but yeah, they're really, really sad. It's like, you know, we're going to make the best of it. And Daniela then Daisy shows up. Huh? Yeah, Danielle is there. They have a nicer apartment they now. They have a guess, super nice I guess they got a lot now. of publicity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Scapel. Well, he's a monkey now, so we really uh, yeah, can't exactly. do that. Yeah, I guess they have less competition. Um, but yeah, Daisy shows up all beaten and battered. And she's With like, gun. You're, you're not going to believe this. And Mario, he's a believer now. He's a believer. <laughs> he's a believer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, according to the writer, Parker Bennett. Uh, yeah. This ending, this like cliffhanger ending, was ripped directly from Back to the Future. Real? Yeah. Oh yeah, it basically is the Back to the Future. Yeah. It's about your kids. Like, did they honestly think they were gonna make a sequel of this? <laughs> like, they probably did. I, they really I'm believed. just utterly shocked. They, they believed. They believed. The they believers. believed. Um, and then yeah, the first credit is for the song that plays in the end credits. I don't even remember it. I have no idea. It yeah, should have been it, my favorite song from Mario. <laughs> yeah. You know what song they used for the trailer for this movie? The trailer for this movie was crazy. Uh, it was a bunch of flashing images. You didn't really get to see it, but it's the I got the power. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, like Power Glove? <laughs> yeah. No, that's a good point. I got the power. And it makes sense why they were flashing it because it's it's almost like how the trailers now don't 
have you hear Chris Pratt's voice? Even the new trailer, he only says like two lines and that's it. It's like I did like yeah. the Super Bowl thing where it was just the song from the TV show. That was good. Because <laughs> he and, wasn't talking. And I watched the Italian dub trailer of the movie. I'm like, that new Super Mario Brothers movie looks really good. <laughs> and then I remember what country I'm in. I'm like, oh, well. Yeah. Well, I'm going to you know, hate it the first time I see it. Did you know that uh, in the commercial, the lady who plays the woman who was, like, getting the plumbing done was the original Princess Toadstool. Oh, was the voice, it? The voice actress. Oh, I didn't know Oh, that. wow. Yeah. Thank you, Super Mario Brothers. It seems the thing you, only, you haven't drained is my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then in the trailer, we were, I mean, in the credits, we were joking because the credits go by and it's Goomba, Goomba, oh, Goomba. Oh, yeah. Goomba. none, 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 none. none, none, none. So funny. Usually they do Goombas. The names, yeah. none. The names, or at least like, like Goomba number one. Goomba yeah, it's just Goomba, two. Goomba, Goomba, Goomba. Yeah, na, 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 na. Japanese <laughs> man one, Japanese Japan man two. It's like, oh, but you don't even know who those Japanese men were because you didn't watch the post credit sequence. That's true. That's a very good point. So I was confused because I'm like, this. So paved the post credit sequence. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, Ferris Bueller. <laughs> post credit oh, yeah, sequence. No, Ferris Bueller yeah. paved the way for Mario, which, which then paved yeah. the way for Marvel. <laughs> exactly. Uh, come on, He Man. The He Man movie had a post credit sequence. That the is the true. pink ca- Corvette. Yes. So so um, so gay pride. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> He Man. Uh, come the, on, it's He Man. The post credit sequence. It's two Japanese men in the Mario Brothers apartment, and they're like, "We want to make a video game based off your life. What do you think we should call it?" And then it cuts to Iggy and Spike. And they're like Super Spike or Iggy something. And they look at each other and they go, the Super Koopa Cousins. <laughs> the Super Koopa Cousins. <laughs> that's the post credit scene. Yep. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't miss anything. <laughs> so, now <laughs> that you have finally seen this movie, uh, how, did, how, did, how did it work for you? Are you ever going to revisit this one? Did you hate it outright? I didn't I didn't necessarily hate it because it reminds me a little bit of Double Dragon. Yeah. And you know I love Double Dragon. Yeah. So it's kind of like the innocence of cinema where I'm not like a snotty nose to like yeah. uh, like I pick things apart. It was fun. It's it's a it's a terrible it's it's one of the better bad movies I've seen. So I'll rewatch it as a bad movie. It is interesting yeah it's kind of like one of those fun movies that like it's not boring like it 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 keeps me engaged because (laughs) it's just so goofy yes right um we never talked about why they were all sweaty oh why were they all sweaty oh yeah that's a good point about that yeah i read about that because they had they were drinking vodka the entire time did you notice I found that out because I told someone I was reviewing this, and they're like, did you know that they were like out of it the entire did time? Did you hear about the cast? Did you notice Mario has a cast in a couple shots? No. Luigi yeah. was driving the van in the <laughs> one scene, and he didn't have a license yet. Uh, really? Apparently, he hit the brakes, and the sliding door came down on Bob Hoskins' oh, van. Oh, <laughs> I think no. it was his pinky. And yeah. they, they painted the cast like pink. I don't know why they painted it pink. Because pinky. Yeah. To like, oh, I guess that makes no, sense. Not- to like blend in so it, you couldn't see it. And you can actually barely see it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice there. it. I didn't notice it for years. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yes, uh, Jessica, now that you've now seen this classic film, uh, what, what did you? what is your main takeaway from this? Fuck you, Scapelli. <laughs> 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 I hated it. I, I didn't. I'm not, hate's a strong word. I strongly disliked it, which is the same as hate. You didn't have any I had such a bad headache. I took Motrin and it did not get rid of it. It didn't, it like, it didn't have any redeeming value to you? No. (laughs) I'm like, because the whole time, watch my reaction whenever I put it out, which will probably be in two years. Yeah. Um, I say, what does it have to fucking do with Mario? Look, it's. Nothing. You know, it reminds the thing is the best. You don't have peach. <laughs> and Toad is a guy with a bad haircut that does not. Do, ah. The best stuff in this movie just reminds me of other better movies. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The most fun to the most fun thing about this movie is to show, and I've done this. I've shown it to people who have never seen it, who like Super Mario. I'm like, well, <laughs> let me show you the Super Mario Brothers movie, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. what is this? Yeah. It does have some really good comedic moments. I think it the might funny be... stuff happens when it has nothing to do with Mario. Yeah, like it's just like the I think I like thing. it more than Double Dragon. I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> it might be more of a nostalgia thing for me. Not that I really like this movie, but 
Yeah, I think I enjoyed this more than Double Dragon. You know, it's funny because like you always make me watch some weird ass movies. You just made me watch Skin of a Rink the other week. That Thought that was movie. goofy. It was a good movie. And then like we watched obviously uh Return of the Moonwalker as <laughs> wild. You know what? I should have <laughs> watched. I might have been more negative in this review, but now that I now that I just watched one of the worst films I've ever seen, yeah. I'm like, yes, Mario Brothers. Like, so it's just stuff. like, Tony just makes me watch these weird movies, and this is you like the more- You say no. <laughs> I, like, your head. I like these, man. This is hey, fun. You could have said no. You don't technically work for me anymore. <laughs> you could have said I'm fun. not going to hey, watch that. Exposure. <laughs> yeah. Exposure. Oh, I agree. Exposure. I got three episodes. I need <laughs> I don't want the exposure. I'm going home right after this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. It's a fun movie. Uh, I didn't look at my phone a lot when I watched this movie. <laughs> I didn't if that means phone. anything. I didn't look at my phone because that's why I was using the record the, the, the thing. So, so it was the camera I have. Yeah. Yeah, it was it it was it was decently fun. It's one of those movies that I would watch with like my friends. And yeah. we would just like shit it, on it. It's a fun party yeah. movie to put on yeah. and like joke and laugh. Laugh at the genuinely funny parts, laugh at the stupid parts. But it's not one like I'll put on just to watch. Yeah, to watch with a bowl of popcorn. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. I, I showed my friend Kay that Attack of the Killer Chickens movie, and now I don't think she trusts me with <laughs> showing her movies. I'm like, I, I think it's good. Now, it might be fun once the new movie's out. I mean, obviously, it's going to be terrible in the worst movie ever, but people will probably like it uh, because they hate Italians, obviously. It's true. Uh, it's much true. like this movie hated Italians. I agree. Why not cast the actual Italian? Is it that hard? Dude, Is like it that hard? Dude, we're right here. I was just going to say, We're dude, right here. We hey, could it took play. Them, it took them so long to cast actual teenagers to play the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the new movie. That's they went too point. young. I feel like those kids are, yeah, they like, are young, young kids. Yeah, they're they're they like, are really young. teenagers. Like, here's the thing. Now I'm talking about this, this new Ninja Turtle movie. I'm excited for it because it looks great. Uh, not because Seth Rowan is making it. Different. No. Mm. Um, everybody but Donatello sounds fine. Donatello just sounds like he's five. Yeah, he, they, they <laughs> sounded like, yeah. it. I'm, not, oh, I'm already not I, the I biggest say, Turtles guy, but yeah, yeah I'm not. I'm the skipping. actor sounds like he's excited. The, the voice actor who's playing him sounds like I he's excited. I still haven't watched the second live action one they put out. Really? I haven't either. That's a classic. And I haven't. That's no, no, no. Classic. I mean, the, the Michael Bay one. Oh, yeah. Not, no, I haven't seen that one. The one with yeah. Krang? Yeah. And, uh,. Seamus is rock steady. Yeah, Seamus is rock steady. <laughs> yeah. We should review both of those movies. I'll be on it because I have some things to say. Um, I think I am planning. I wanted Kevin in it uh, from Peg Warmers. I wanted to do like a worst turtles movie where we go through all of them. Well, everybody wants to be in the worst Transformers movie because it's obviously four. Fun fact uh, before we wrap this up. So I have a uh, magnetic poster holder in the back. So if I want to, if I have a poster for the movie, I could take alien three down and put a poster. I found my Revenge of the Fallen Megatron poster upstairs. <laughs> so if we ever do that episode, I'll throw that baby there. Oh, I have, um, some, I have yes. some things to say about. Thank you for watching. Do you like Mary? Do you? Th it's funny to say I think it's overrated because dude, that's wild. Like, dude. like, like it. Come on, it's not underrated. But like, yes, yeah, some people really love this movie, and I'm like, guys, it's not that good. It's not. It's really God, my not. head still hurts now that I think about it. It's Ugh. fun and goofy, and it's fun to make fun of, but it's not that great. Bob Hoppies. Um, <laughs> Joey C. Where Tony can we Mac find movies. you? You can find me at youtube.com slash official Joey C. I'd love to have you. That's it. Wait, That's pretty like much it. One? That's only the only place for, you can find me. Thanks, oh, have me for... Have you for... <laughs> hey, where can we find you, Jess? <laughs> You're like, I'd love to have you, and I'm like... <laughs> At, on my channel. I'm just it's like, realizing. It's like, in the, it's like in the live action Casper movie where he's like, can I keep you? Oh my God, that's a great movie, by the way. I just realized that I said, I'd love to have you in the last video I did. And I thought, yeah, wait, where am I going to have you? <laughs> love to have you there. I'd just love to have you. All right, shut the hell up. Jessica, Let's go. where can we find you? You can find me anywhere at just daydreaming. All one word. I remember this time. Mm -hmm. uh, and also the creep off now. Every Monday. Well, as of now, you've done two episodes. Yeah. By the time this comes out, hopefully you've done more, or yeah. you've probably been chased off the show by all its creepy fans. No, I mean, I've dealt with the creeps that <laughs> talked to me on this, sh that when I worked on here, so. I'm just saying, Tony plays Mario, Joey C plays Luigi. That's all you need to know. And Jess can be... Yoshi. Oh, I want to be Birdo! You could be Birdo. Yeah! <laughs> you could be Birdo. I love Birdo. <laughs> I actually, in, in college, we did like an actual Mario Kart thing and I dressed up as Birdo. Oh, so you have experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I just got a, a pink, You dressed up like- I, I got a pink shirt, an apron because she has the white belly, and a pink baseball cat <laughs> with a bow. 
And it worked. Except that we had to wear a helmet when we did the cart, so you couldn't so, see it. But I beat the, one of so the hosts. So you've dressed up like Birdo. We have dressed up. Or no, we are just Italian. Yeah, I was so going to say, there's, there's no dressed up. Yeah. We got this. We're just Italian. Hire us. And please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, leave us a voicemail, new voicemail line. What? Turns out I let the previous one expire. I missed the email telling me to renew it. So I have a new phone number for Are the voice. Are you going to do it? I'm going to try and do it. <laughs> I have more time now to do it. I'm at my computer all the time now editing because I don't have an editor anymore. So I will do the voicemail segment again. Uh, you can mail stuff to our mailbag, our post office, uh, P our P.O. box. You can mail stuff to our <laughs> P.O. box. That is still the same. Uh, and join us over on Patreon. You're really going to want to know what me and Joey C. thought of Return of the Moonwalker. You're not going to want to miss that one. I'm really not looking forward to having to go through that footage. I was just going to think that. You have to edit that. <laughs> you know, since you're like a really good friend, you'll probably volunteer <laughs> to edit it for me, right? I'll get like a scene for you. <laughs> That's it. All right, that is it from us, guys. Goodbye. Bye.